My thing is, what if you massaging a woman like that and her butt stink? Oh, dude. Well, he's a professional. <laughs> yeah, no, what that mean about her butt? Nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like if you're going to a massage that's this type of massage, you probably are yeah, washing beforehand. But this is not a massage. This is some erotic shit. This is it's, He's a masseuse. All right, every everybody's that a masseuse. Is a blood. I got, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a masseuse. He's a blood. <laughs> no, warrior man. I got a few messages about you over the over the break. Why? Oh, oh what a perfect start! Smiling at him. No, I just I just always laugh when I'm not Julian. <laughs> Wait, but who's messaging you about Julian? It's just people on his social media. Oh, uh, okay, got you, got you. Okay, like I you, thought like people in the nah, streets. Get Julian the fuck out of here. He's a racist. <laughs> wow, Wait, you said they're it. saying that to you about you yeah. of all people. Yeah. You, yeah, because you said you were afraid you were going to walk out of a Charlotte club in a drive by. Was how is that such a wild thing for people to comprehend? I think it's I think it's just the fact that people are just putting it's like a culmination of everything you said so mm-hmm. far. And they're just like, all right, he just does not like like black. It's just not true. Someone said on Reddit that how can you like, well, look where he, look where his, look how his upbringing was. He didn't have any black people in his life. My dad is black. <laughs> my dad's in my like, life. Like black I black. Grew up, like, I grew like up. Your dad in looks a like, like a former NBA player. Yeah, like, 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 like my dad was extremely proud like of my 80. life. Who, who converted? <laughs> So dumb. I was just laughing. I was like, yeah. I wanted to like feed into it and like push the. Because well, you now say that dumb shit that I would storm the Capitol, where that's clearly you, you deflecting. Definitely, you definitely look like you I already said Capitol. you wouldn't have been one of the first ones. I look like door. I would fly a plane into the Capitol, not like I would storm. Why it. not yeah, both? The same thing. Because Maul, that's his audience. But that's the thing about you that you <laughs> that's have his like audience. This, yes, you're like almost like gender fluid type of thing. Like <laughs> you have this thing about you. <laughs> he's racially ambiguous which, in the which face. Which doesn't fuck with the people <laughs> that would storm the Capitol. But like, but like, he's one of those proud boys that's like beyond enemy. Lines. Yeah, you saw those proud boys that like had a little melanin, and you're like, hmm, I wonder how they infiltrated like you have, them. You have the unique ability to like, if you wear a fitted hat backwards, <laughs> like you look like you could be like one of the first responders to go. A hundred percent. But if yeah. you wear it forward, you could look like you could be hanging out with me and my crew. We know? asked kind of like where, what state you'd want to move to. You said any red state. That was literally your answer. Absolutely. Okay. And but how people know the- why. People know why I want to move to a red state. It's not because I'm I'm voting for Republicans because the transgender bathroom. I want to keep I want to keep more of my own money. Oh yeah, that's the only reason why I want more. more and your own bathroom. bathroom. Well, yeah, and I want my own bathroom. I mean, Julian looks like one of the mixed kids that only identifies with his mother's Sicilian. <laughs> <bathroom. laughs> <laughs> like he's a lot of other shit, but he really only yeah, like rocks. I'm telling you, bro. It depends on what you're wearing. I would not know what you are. Like I the, feel like the type of outfit yeah. you would have on, I'll be like, I don't know what this dude is, right? If he would have never showed me his dad, I'd have never believed that he was black. Okay. Fair nah, enough. I wouldn't say that. But I grew up in the projects. Like, my dad's black. See, that's right. Like, what? I'm just, that the was, fact that, that you was, identify that with black see, people is it's it's proving it's, what it's, people no, are it's saying. It's amazing how people just write off. Why don't you just say my dad, dad loves fried chicken? People, you that? <laughs> it's, it's, actually, he does too. I got that gene. I love it. Uh, no, he let people write him out of my life like he doesn't exist. Who writes your dad out of you? Look, there's a whole Reddit thread currently that's called Julian's why do you, a bitch. Why do you pay? <laughs> I did it's not called, write that thread. It's called what? It's Julian's called a Julian bitch. Julian is a bitch and it's this guy who's the biggest hater of all time. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. I read it all weekend. It was hilarious. I sent it to my The cousin. name of the thread is no. Julian's a bitch. That's it up. fucking hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. There is some beauty in how direct he was just in naming that thread. Yeah. And how no. do I subscribe to that? No, no I question like, hmm, how are you guys right, feeling about Julian today? Yeah, I want to see what You want notifications for yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Can you just search that in the top right? Just write Julian no, as no, a bitch? No, no, you just passed it. No, but then there would be too many posts. Like, you can't just do that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, a, got you. Yeah, it'll be bitch everywhere. Oh, that yeah, would be really alive. funny. Yeah. Well, I had a, um, I went to, yeah. uh, right, first there it of all, is. we haven't seen, um, we haven't seen each other in about a, what, a week? It's uh, been a while. Yes, did you miss me? Yeah. Week. Well, I, I saw Julian and I saw Eden. Yeah. I don't think I saw Damaris. And we saw each other on the weekend. Yeah, I actually had a weekend. But tell us, tell us about your Montreal, uh, Oh man, Excursions. Montreal. Montreal was beautiful, man. It was all good Montreal. To see, uh, family that I haven't seen my family up there probably over ten years. Left oh. left America on Lady Liberty's oh, birthday. Oh yeah, had to get out of here. But um, it was it was so good to see family up there. Um, you know, all of the all of my cousins that were like little kids when I last saw them. Mm-hmm. Mm. They all like taller than me with facial hair. Now it's just the craziest shit. That, like, damn, that much time has passed since I saw them. Uh, but it was great. Uh, the Jazz Fest was beautiful. I bought y'all some merch. Oh, wow. Wow. We got See, I thought I wasn't thinking That's about my crew, right? See? Uh, See? I'm sure a fan just gave this to him for free and he's trying to get rid of it. No, for yeah, real. for sure. Julian. Oh, yeah. This is for you. There it I'll is. I'll take it. 
He can definitely go That's yachting nice. with Thank his friends. With Please that don't hat. throw this at me. Can I take the tote bag? I, I had to get my boy Rory one of his bowling shirts. You know how you like. Oh, I, <laughs> wow. I love it. Bowling shirt is so funny. Yeah, and that's yeah. so Rory. That yeah. shirt is so Rory. Oh, and and I've, you know, got back in the gym on our, our time off. I could wear this. Yeah. You know, Thank buttons God. open. All right, all right, Rory. And I got Damaris. <laughs> I got Damaris. I got you a bucket low. Like, fuck it, though. Thank okay. You. Excuse me? Oh. Mm. Stealing Yomi swag. Okay. I got Yomi. I got Yomi a bucket, too. Yo, got a bucket. Eddie got a bucket. Buckets for everybody. Yay. Oh, God. This is actually really hard. I would oh, buy it and wear this. Yo, but I'll give it to Eddie. Hey. Whoa. There nice, you go. nice toss. You know what I'm saying? And is Thank this, this you, is official? Oh, it's official uh, Jazz Festival merch. That is official ja uh, Montreal Jazz Festival merch. So I went to the Jazz Fest is going on now in Montreal. So I went one night, went down there, and uh, I had to get y'all some merch. Preem headline, right? Back. I feel like Yomi. I think so. I, I don't know if he headlined, but he I, I know he was performing. No, Macy Gray headlined, I believe. Okay. I think Macy Gray was the uh, last. It, it's going until, I think, no, it was over last night, Sunday. Mm. Sunday was the last night. Um, So went, went saw the family, spent some time out there. It was humid as fuck. Mm. Um, Damn, you've been up there? Huh? You've been up there? It was oh, my. No, here. it was humid. I, I was talking to somebody, and they were saying that that was the... I think the hottest, while I was gone, it was the hottest day recorded in the history yeah. of Earth. Yeah. Around the world. Like the, the average temperature was 63 degrees or something like that. That's crazy. So that was like the That's hottest good. day in, uh, recorded. But it was really humid up there. But the city of Montreal is still beautiful. Still one of my favorite cities. Um, and Jazz Festival was always a great time. So I had a good time and I made sure I, I brought my guys some merch. And my lady some merch thank mm -hmm. you thank you oh well, that's good sounds like you had a good good family week i did as well uh because we had to like triple and double up the week before on episodes and shoot other content that's not out yet i became for the first time in my life uh an absent father mm -hmm. so i took how does it feel nice <laughs> doesn't feel, 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 like, feel like you doesn't do it feel again? good <laughs> feel like you could like do something it again. you can do again feel like you can you know I me mean? like just dip out a little bit more like, no, I can get actually this. really i did feel good about myself because you you know, I do have these thoughts that maybe I am a sociopath. It was like a good reminder that I'm not because I did actually feel shitty about the amount of hours I was working last week. And it was good to catch up, you know, this past week that we had off mm -hmm. of just to be with Amara. Yeah. 24 hours out the day. Yeah. I, that, I felt that too. Like when we were off, I was like, damn, this is what being off feels like. Yeah. Because like I always bring it up, but Rory and myself, we've been doing recording podcasts for at least seven, eight years now. Something like that. It's all a blur, Tor. It's like, yeah, no, our, <laughs> our last seven years has been all a blur for sure. Mm -hmm. So it feels good when we have uh, some extended time off. Yeah. No, to I, do I, some I, of the shit that we just like to do when we're not in front of a fucking camera. Mm -hmm. So I did, I did the family uh, week, and then I, I actually had a weekend for the first time this year, I want to say. Mm -hmm. I haven't like gone out and did shit over the weekend. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> no, I was, I, I'm not laughing at what you're about to say. I was talking, it was Yomi. You laughing at Yomi? Yomi literally, Yomi literally says racist. nothing. He's yeah. racist. He's just racist. That's racist. all it is. For you think sure. she's Asian? That, right. that was in, that was an honest <laughs> mistake. That's when he first met her. Like that, that's an honest like when you first meet Roy somebody. Walked the ledge. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. Someone's got to ask. And technically, <laughs> I think that's I'm the, the best ask. guest to have because it's the biggest continent. Like you have so many different. Oh, okay. See cultures yeah. within. I cleaned it up. Good. Like not, not yeah, all yeah, Asians yeah, are yeah, Chinese or Japanese. Like they could be Turkish. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, I thought Yomi was Turkish. What is Yomi? Huh? Yeah, what is Yomi? <laughs> She's whatever she wants to identify as. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I couldn't hear you very uh, clear. The fact that Rory still doesn't know what Yomi is is crazy. <laughs> She's Seven, from Florida. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> She's Floridian. Yeah. She's uh, an American. Yeah, she said, that is an American if I've ever seen one. Absolutely. Definition of an American experience. Uh, so yeah, I actually had a social weekend to some degree. Um, mm -hmm. Julian and I were in here on Friday. We went to a little like adult shindig. Okay. At at the seaport. Mm -hmm. uh, my guy Corey was was DJ and Lowe was hosting. And, you know, we had some beverages, danced a little bit, threw, threw a little after shindig here with four people. Mm -hmm. And then the following day, I went to go see Most Def, I'm sorry, Yasin Bey and Erica mm -hmm. Badu. How was that? It was an incredible show. I mean, I don't. You guys don't need me to tell you that Erica Badu and Yasin Bey would put a, a great show together. Mm -hmm. But it was amazing to see. Yasin, Kwali, Pharaoh, Black Thought, Dead Prez, all in the garden. Like that was cool to watch all of them on that stage in Madison Square Garden. I had a dream about Black Thought last night. I don't pause. Know Yo, yeah, like I, it was he just appeared like <laughs> was outside of a window. I was talking he was in your about, thoughts. I don't know why. And I don't think about Black Thought at all. Like, Twenty minutes, but it was like he was outside a window. I was talking to somebody, and we were talking about like our top five favorite MCs, 
And I just said black thought to name. Look at his dream. That's a hip hop ass dream. <laughs> look, I said, look, I said, I said black Was thought. There? I said black thought, and you he didn't just, get pussy that night. No, look, <laughs> yeah, look. I said black. I, I said black thought, and he turned around, and looked at the window, like, man, get the fuck out of here. And I didn't even know it was him. I was like, what the fuck is Black Thought doing outside of the window? Like, it was the most random shit ever. I think I it's funny that it Black Thought cursed in your dream. Yeah, because it was kind of like... <laughs> I don't think I have a lot of curses in my dream now that I think about it. it I think the conversation... It, you know how you can't really remember your dreams? Mm. But I think it was something like... He was saying, like, nobody ever says I'm their top five favorite rappers. Like, just cut it out. It was some shit like that. And I was like, nah, like, I really fuck with you. But the funny shit is he's really not one of my top five. Yeah, I love that. So you lied to him in your dream? dream? I lied to him in my dream, yeah. Wow. And you only gave him his flowers in, in my the dream, dream world. Yeah, yeah, only in the dream world. Only on DMT. He's not in my top five, but he is one of my favorite rappers ever, though. Um, well, yeah, it was, it was a really, really good show. Um, she was not late. She was right on time. Erica's set was incredible. Down to the set design, down to her with the MPCs. Her vocals have not... I think they've improved. Mm -hmm. Like, she was singing, singing up there. It was a really, really good show. I highly, highly recommend that everyone go see them in their city because, I mean, the tour didn't just begin, but they have a lot of dates left. I was thinking about going back tomorrow. She's still here? Wow. She's in Newark tomorrow. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. if you're listening to this today, yeah. I was considering it because it was that good of a show. Well, since uh, I've been going, so much shit has been happening. Um, I think the biggest thing was the whole Usher fiasco. Stay on Kiki concerts. Palmer. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I was trying not to be on social media, but somebody sent this to my phone and I just laughed at it because this, this went back to a conversation we had a few weeks ago about people being in insecure relationships. Mm -hmm. Um, so the whole Usher, Usher, for those that don't know, I don't know how you don't know. He's been, he's had a residency in, in Vegas for about two years now, maybe mm -hmm. three. Uh, yeah. I was going to say going on a decade now. I feel yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like <laughs> this residency will not and end. And I still haven't caught the show. I, I definitely have to catch the show this year. But, mm -hmm. um, so Kiki Palmer was at the show and um the talented Kiki Palmer the talented Kiki Palmer the beautiful Kiki Palmer um and she was at the show and yeah. she had on a dress with you know a bodysuit underneath it i believe that's what they call it Damaris a bodysuit is that called yes a so, bodysuit leotard thank you Damaris <laughs> leotard is hilarious <laughs> but uh so she had on dress called? so i think that's what they used to be called mm. it's probably upgraded since fashion over changed the name of yeah, it yeah absolutely uh but i didn't think what she was wearing was inappropriate i don't think that it was uh, trashy or provocative. I thought that it was, you know, it was okay. It wasn't it wasn't wild. Or... I didn't think it was bad until I figured out she was sitting in GA. I thought she was part of the show. Mm -hmm. And like, that makes sense for the show. Mm -hmm. But then I found out she was just like in section 200 seat F. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I killed Lizzo for having her cheeks out. I have to do the same to Kiki Palmer. Put some pants on, Kiki. Yeah. I, this is different. But the cheeks weren't It's out. Vegas. It's an Usher show. It's definitely different than the Lakers game. It's yeah. 100%. This is more of an adult uh, type of vibe and environment. And her cheeks were not touching the actual seat. There right. was some was thread. Some fabric. Yeah. In between her cheeks and the seat. Mm -hmm. But um, I didn't think that because I was, that was the first thing I was like, oh shit, what, like, what did Kiki wear? So I went and I watched the clip. <laughs> that's what you said? Because In everybody, Montreal, you said, oh shit, what did Kiki no, wear? No, that, that's how I was <laughs> to my phone. Like, yo, Kiki boyfriend is going crazy because she was at the Usher show wearing some shit. <laughs> He didn't want her to wear it. And I'm like, yo, don't tell me Kiki went with like, you know, we've mm. we've seen some outfits that women can wear. Yeah. This was not bad. I didn't think that this was a horrible, you know, too much revealing of an outfit. But she's a mom, mom. She is a mom. <laughs> she's a mom. She's a very attractive, uh, very beautiful mo mother. Uh, but but what she had on to me wasn't, I didn't see what the big deal was about. But obviously her, her I don't know if it's her fiance or husband. Or baby, baby daddy. daddy. Just a baby daddy. Oh, Dependent. I, I thought it was. They were married too, no? No. They're not married? Okay, well, whatever. Not, in pu is. not on public record, they're not married. Now, if they went and snuck and did <laughs> You looked shit. up the paperwork? Right. <laughs> well, he obviously felt some type of way about what she was wearing. And they said uh, he wiped her from his uh, his Instagram feed. There's no more pictures of Kiki on his Instagram feed. Wow. I don't think that that was that serious. Now, I'm, this gentleman and me, are we're, we're two different men. Whatever mm -hmm. he believes, you know, people say I have these crazy standards. I don't think that that was a crazy outfit that Kiki had on. Well, obviously there was issues before. I don't think this what? fight has anything to do with the Usher concert or- This was what was brought it over the top. This was, <laughs> this was the last straw for this gentleman. And I tried my best not to like pay too much attention to this. Only, I only want to see the funnies on the timeline. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care what they were doing with their personal lives, but I did see Kiki say like, he saw, I walked out of the house in that outfit on. Yeah. He had plenty of time to say, hey, don't wear that. And Which kind of just takes away from his entire 
argument of saying we live in a generation where a man with a family doesn't want his wife wearing that shit. Well, then be a fucking man and say something when she's in the house. Right. Not only that, do you do we think that it becomes a problem if Usher doesn't serenade her? No. Well, that's what made the, the well, that's issue. what doesn't the go on video was, yeah. because he's posted her wearing half of what she had on. Right. He's posted her half naked, like. On his page, plenty mm -hmm. of times. Yeah, I saw so, she, when she was still pregnant, showing her, her pregnancy. Yeah, probably. like he's posted her wearing way less than that. It had nothing to do with that. I mean, it was about the fact that you saw Usher looking at her like that. I don't even think it was that. I was thinking it was the internet reacting to that video. I think he would have been fine with the video had it just gone out and no one said, damn, Usher stole your girl. Like, I think that. A lot that's, of those tweets were happening. But I don't think that, that happened. got under his skin. And then he was like, well, fuck. I don't think that happened until he started, until he reacted. Then people were like, oh, Usher, so your girl. That's Kiki. Nobody's looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, people well, just. Fine as hell. Well, let's talk about the message because I do agree with what his is message. The message. His message, just not the messenger. <laughs> as much as I don't particularly care, like, if my girl wanted to wear that to the Usher show, I would really have no issue whatsoever. But I don't think everyone has to think that way. I don't think it's weird yeah, no. to say. I'm a family man. I don't want my wife and mother of my child going to a showcase with her ass cheeks out. I don't think that's as crazy as the internet has made that sound. Like, I also don't think that's a very insecure thought in the right context. The only problem I had with this, Rory, was he did this on social media. Yes. Okay. Now, when Kiki goes home and they have that conversation, you're fair. Like, I, like Rory said, I don't, if, if, just because I didn't think that it was anything wrong with the outfit doesn't mean that he shouldn't you know, he should feel the same way. Like, if he felt like it was, but again, if you saw her leaving the house in that, uh, well, but we don't know. Maybe they did have a talk when she left the house. Mm. You know, we don't know. But my thing is, if, you know, you feel like your wife is wearing, or your your, your girlfriend or whoever is wearing something that you don't want her to wear out the house, um, when it goes viral, and now you decide to, you know, talk about it on social media, that's where I just have a problem with it. If you want to keep it in your, you know, personal relationship, in your personal conversations at home, so be it. But, all in all, I didn't think that it was too crazy. We've seen women wear more revealing things. We've seen women wear that into a dress just like that with nothing underneath it. Mm. Like, you know, just so that's what I was expecting to see. Like when I was when I heard about, yo, Kiki wore something to the show and her boyfriend's going crazy on social media. That do, wasn't bad. Do you guys think a little bit of it is is hate? Because Kiki, not hate, but like Kiki's developed more since she had a baby which happens a lot sometimes when women have babies they become a little bit more voluptuous some heavies. and she's been you know she's been it's, it appears that she's been feeling herself more she's working herself getting used to her new body you mm -hmm. know like dressing sexy like she's been more present on the internet Look good. do you think that he's kind of like on some like hating shit like a little bit I, I don't think it's hate I think bit. that I, I think that you know again he saw he saw a clip go viral with his uh his child's mother. I think that he didn't like the video she posted because she it was another video she posted when Usher was on stage performing and he didn't have a shirt on and she obviously was like, you know, kind of like flustered, like, oh my God, he looks so good. That type of video, which is like, okay, the player thing would have been, I would have posted a picture of the dress after I fucked her out of it when she came home. That night. Um, I, I the post, dress on the floor, uh, that's, on the fire. Floor. Yeah, that's yeah. fire. That's yeah, fire. You know, that's me. That's, that's just me. If I'm going to respond on social media, it's going to be something like that. I'm mm. not going to go into this whole, oh, you a mom. It's what you're wearing. It's mm. like, that's just a little too of much of a personal conversation to have on a, a social platform. And I have, I have a bit of an unhealthy ego because I would pretend like I didn't care, but be upset privately. Mm -hmm. You would be upset privately? But I wouldn't be upset at this. I'm trying to think of a scenario where I would be upset where the public knew about something. I would pretend uh, like I was not upset because of my own ego fair. to what other people would think if I start reacting emotionally to my girl doing something. I would have been like, all right. I probably wouldn't have said anything, period. And then at home would have been like, yo, tuck them little, them little cheeks in <laughs> and go breastfeed your child. But see, the, the thing, the reason why I don't understand, <laughs> I understand a man getting upset about this because what's the difference of her wearing this to an Usher show and her wearing a bathing suit on the beach. Well, once I don't think it's the, sh I, I, I think it's the action, like the interaction she had with, it yeah, was the interaction. it's not, I don't, yeah. I don't think it's the fit. Yeah. yeah but he Usher, tried to put really, it into the but fit. Usher, but Usher is very, fit. Usher is a very classy, very respectful guy. He wasn't like, all over. He wasn't grabbing her. You know, he wasn't. Uh, she No, she grabbed him. He looked at the ass a little bit, but she grabbed him. Also, Usher's girl is sitting in the 
his girl and Usher's a show. This is Vegas. It's, it's yeah. showmanship. This no, is like, I, he's yeah. putting on a show. He, he's obviously, you know, he's playing it to the crowd. He knows this is Kiki Palmer. He knows what these videos are going to do. It's going to go viral. Hand. But look at his hand placement. He's just, it's, it's in the middle of her back. He's nowhere near her butt. Like, you know, it's just, Usher's not the, you know, disrespectful, you know, too raunchy of a guy, especially at this stage of his career. Usher's very classy. He's very respectful. And I don't see anything wrong with this interaction at all. I think this has not, nothing to do with the outfit, Usher, or no, the internet. It's all they security. were beefing before. This was a way to finally end it. You don't, this doesn't happen. And then you clear your Instagram of your child's mother. <laughs> yeah, like, that's too much. <laughs> this, this this is way, not, even if that gentleman who I don't know could be the most emotional human being on earth, no one does that off that. Right. Yeah. It well, he did more. it. He did it two days later, which leads me to believe that there might have been. I'm sure she went home and cussed his ass out because Kiki don't be in, in any drama, in any mess. Like very rarely is she called to the podium. Mm. So for you to put her in the blogs when Kiki's one of those people, she's like Issa Rae. Everyone loves her. Everybody stands her. So to put her on the blogs for this messy shit, this personal life shit. When all you had to do was sit at home and make sure that baby was fed and mm. collect your coins. It was unnecessary. It was unnecessary, Stedman. It was unnecessary. Didn't Twenty One Savage go with his girl or something? Yeah. Was just, he no, was he was tried good. to sing the Twenty One Savage. Remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you think Twenty One Savage girl was mad mm. at what Twenty One was wearing while he was uh, harmonizing? I think, I think she was. I think she was so steamed at the, <laughs> at the at his outfit of choice that night. And she knows he's his past. Yeah. He's a self-identified slut. Yeah, yeah. He did I, the walk. He did the walk of slut. Well, she should know what she signed up for. I don't <laughs> know if this is from the same show or, or later on. This, this It was over the weekend as well, but Winnie Harlow went with Kyle Kuzma, and when Usher approached their table, she jumped on Kyle's lap. That's funny, though. <sighs> is it? That's more of a response. That I don't sound? think that it's happens if the Kiki, Kiki shit doesn't yeah. happen before. And Sweetie was there getting like this is part of the Usher show. Sweetie this, got sung to, too. Sweetie was high as a fucking kite, though. You guys can call me weird call me adam 23 here we go if my girl and i go to the usher show and usher comes up to our table and sings to my girl i do not care I like don't i don't think, care I, at all I don't like why that, would that bother someone i don't think any guy would honestly care about that any secure guy doesn't care. like this is usher this is vegas it's part of the show we know that we've seen these clips before there's nothing to get upset about um like you said i think it was probably other things that him and kiki were uh, arguing about or having a little beef about, but I don't think that it was just this. This is obviously just the 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 last straw where he was just pissed off and decided I'm going to social media. Y'all think this mm. is worth her breaking up over him? Like, do you think it's worth it? Do you think this is like again? Red flag? I think I think that they have had problems before. Yes. Okay, even if they didn't, right? Do you think that this is red flag? Uh, red flag, yes. Worth a breakup? Not really. Yeah. Yes, on Kiki's side, if if this is such a big deal to you and we just had a kid, we're going to face problems way bigger than Usher singing to you. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and, yeah maybe yeah. we should call this quits if we're already having this much trouble, especially post just having a baby Yeah, with Usher. Yeah, and, and again, this is not, to me, what Kiki wore was not trashy. It wasn't uh, too provocative. It was sexy. But she was she was covered. She had on a bodysuit underneath with a see through dress, and but she was very well dressed, in my opinion. Um, obviously, when these types of things happen, everyone on the internet takes some time to figure out how they can make this about them, yes, and how they can get more attention <laughs> post someone else's issues. Of course. <sighs> Before we get into the Jonah Hill and ex girlfriend debacle. I think it's great when people are outed for actual nasty behavior and more people feel comfortable coming forward now that that person has been outed once. I think that's healthy. Mm -hmm. But that behavior has to stop with like non-predatorial shit. If Jonah Hill's ex really felt a way about his boundaries, quote unquote, why didn't you tell us this years ago? The, the like, text, why are you on the internet today doing The text where he's referring to- Do you even know who Kiki Palmer is? <laughs> Does this surfer chick even know who Usher is? I'm pretty sure she knows. <laughs> Probably knows who Usher is. I'm gonna say Kiki. No, Jonah Hill knows who Jonah Kiki does. Is. Yeah. So for some backstory, after the Kiki Palmer debacle, Jonah Hill's ex girlfriend Sarah Brady took it upon herself to go on the internet to show screenshots, private screenshots of Jonah Hill telling her the boundaries in which he has, which was then turned into. Um, I believe this is verbal abuse. 
uh, I believe this is sexual assault from what the internet was saying. They said it was um, manipulation. This woman is under attack. She needs to be saved. Maybe we should start a GoFundMe, get her into a shelter, uh, maybe she buy her a new uh, longboard. <laughs> buy her a new longboard. Maybe a ticket to Hawaii. <laughs> Fam, can we break this down? Does it need to be broken down? I don't believe that people go through shit like this in relationships in real life. Let me just say that. I think this, is, this is her real life relationship. I think this is hilarious that somebody like grown people are going through these types of things in relationships. They are regularly. This shit is wrong. crazy to me. Listen, I'm not saying Jonah Hill is right. We can read this list in a second. But for all the boundary police to come out of the woodworks and start telling me the definition boundary. of what a boundary is, is fucking insane. Well, what's the fine line? I saw people screaming in all caps on Twitter, she's a surfer. She can wear a bathing suit. Like they were literally saying the most profound thing of all time. This was a debate over Quicksilver versus Fashion Nova. This kind of like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this kind of is like the call that we had. The the guy that left a voicemail where he was like, "I don't want my girl dressing like X, Y, and Z like a wrestler because I'm." But then Demara said yes, but those are probably the things that attract you to her. Jonah Hill DM'd her and, and liked a string of photos of her in a bikini with a surfboard. That was his like approach. Yeah. So now he's telling her the thing that she does. Yeah. yeah you, know, you can't do that anymore. You got to stop surfing. You got to stop surfing with men. Like he's trying to rewrite her life. Yeah. It's like she does that though. Okay. That's okay. what no, you no, no. like about. I her. agree. His asks are egregious and weird. I'm not saying that, but how this got turned into like this is the definition of what a verbally abusive relationship looks like. No, he's telling her what his asks are. They're crazy, so leave them. This is, she's not a victim. Can, like, can we please stop with that so vi like real victims can no, get help? We she's, can't stop. She's this not, is the era of victims. She's not a, victims make a lot of money now. She's not a victim for sure. He's weird, I agree, but, but she's not a victim. But that's still, it's emo she's not a victim, but that is emotional manipulation. No, nope. how's the manipulation? He just flat out said, this is what I want. Because you said that after this person is already in love with you. That's where the manipulation, that's where the that's emotional not manipulation, manipulation that's comes crazy. In. Yeah, I don't think that's <laughs> it is, manipulation. It, no, that's, but this that's is crazy. You, for you to sit up there and say, okay, hey, th these are my boundaries. First of all, those aren't boundaries because boundaries have to do with you and who you are. You can't put boundaries on somebody else's behavior, but whatever, they're demands, but whatever. They are, yeah. Yeah, they're demands. You're right. But, and they're fucking egregious. But they're the weird. point when you can say, well, just leave him, that comes in if you guys are freshly in a relationship. If we're together for a while and then you are trying to change the person that I am and you sit up here and say, Oh, well, that's just what I want. And if you don't want that, leave me after I'm, you've already made me fall in love with you. That is emotional manipulation. No, manipulation would be if he started in the beginning of the relationship saying, I have no issues with your bathing suit. I have no issues with you surfing with men. I have no issues with this stuff. And then you guys get a year in and then you start making these demands. But that's, that's what manipulation. It like it would have happened. That's what that's what everybody's saying. And he was OK with her whole entire surfing career and all of this stuff. Then after a while, it came out and he said that he changed. And then you just say, well, just leave me. And I was like, well, just leave him. She's in love with him. You made me fall in love with you and said that you were okay with everything. And now you changed that. That is emotional manipulation. Yeah, first of all, her first falling all. in love with Jonah Hill is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start. This. What's wrong with Jonah Hill? <laughs> He's a talented guy. Yo. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, Maul. nobody want to say that. Can we just Maul. say that? I'm just saying. Like, I, I like his movies too. Love. I think he's funny. But I'm just like, like come on, man. Like, uh, let's just stop. She can leave Jonah Hill. Can we get into that sentence? She can find another you guy. Made, you, you made me fall in love with you. Yeah, what does like, that mean? Yeah, like I didn't want to fall in love with you. You made me do it. Oh, you that even treated mean? me so good, you yeah. asshole. Like that's just- <laughs> You like, flew me to Hawaii to surf. Huh? <laughs> yeah, like this shit is stupid, man. Like the fact that this is, is even a conversation is stupid. This is dumb. He says, plain and simple, if you need, surfing with men, boundary list. Uh, okay, thank you. Surfing with men, number one, is fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, like, like it's like it's the most female dominated sport in the world. OK, I'm not going to. Actually, I'm going to shoot Jonah Hill some bit. Let's just make a hypothetical situation. Maybe there's context to this. Maybe he had no issue with her surfing with men before. And then she got a little too chummy on one of the boards one day and it made him one feel a little boards. weird. And he expressed that like, hey, stop surfing with the guy that you fucked or some, I feel something like you, you could have to be talking about one guy. There's no way he's saying you can't. I'm trying to treat him so well. There's no way he's yeah. just like, yo, men, if there's men in the water, he's treating them like sharks. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. yo, there's sharks in the water. Get, yo, there's are. men on there. Get that's, the that's fuck out. No, with sharks in the water. Um, yeah. Friendships with women who are in unstable places is fucking insane. <laughs> or I would have no or, friends. Great advice to give your girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on now. Let me give Jonah some more bail. I, listen, I'm looking at some of this. Let me give Jonah some more bail. Because he says friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past, which means she may have some whole shit that he already had to deal with. Beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something, something respectful. Right. That means he's caught her. That's that sick. means he's that's, caught her. That's what I'm saying is doing context some to things this. that he, you know, most men would have an issue with because he said your wild recent mm. past. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which means we just got over something. I don't want we don't need to talk about what it was. But we just went through something. Okay. And if it's not something like lunch or coffee or something respectful, it's out of bounds. Now let's let's all not <laughs> pretend like we don't know that women sometimes. Now that have, I think about it, Jonah's the victim here. No, yeah. I knew you don't, it was all right. He's the fucking I knew victim. It was fucking coming. Matter of fact, it's perfect that Sean is here too. There is a group of women that certain women only hang out with to go do ho shit. Ho shit. They shit. have no real relationship. Right, They're not really right. friends. So to, and usually those women, as much as we love them, are unstable as fuck. Yeah. So to tell your girlfriend, listen, what? that's not actually your friend. Jonah's a hero. Literally the only relationship you guys have is after midnight. Free Jonah. And it's to go do ho shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you're not just going to go meet them for lunch or coffee because they would be an actual friend, what is the point of you going out with them? Right. I get it. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, no. now, this is what I don't get. What is, go to the top, what is boundaryless... Boundaryless, boundaryless. Boundaryless. He, I don't. Yeah. Relationships with men go oh, to, back with, to the list. With his, okay. Surfing with men, boundaryless, <laughs> inappropriate friendships with men. So she said, like, there's so no. Basically, if you don't set these boundaries for your friend, your male friends, like they're gonna try to step across that. They're line. gonna be. That's, Which means that's listen. why I think there's context to this. Yeah, that's she's not a just surfer. a random thing. That's a specific listen, situation man. he's talking. I about. I figured it out. He's a surfer. <laughs> She hangs out with other surfers. We know surfers are known to have long blonde hey, hair, in shape. Mm-hmm. And Jonah's probably like, he has the blonde hair down pat. That's true. It's true. But mm. Jonah's not like the most cut <laughs> up. You he's know, built, he's built like a buoy. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's, he's you know what I mean? So he's probably like, listen, man, well, you're not water. gonna be running down the beach with David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, when, when I'm a marker in the sea to say it's too shallow. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, we're not. We're, Just put we're a not, red hat on and throw Jonah in the water. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, listen, Jonah's the victim here the more we think about. It. Like, I understand it now. Like, he's went through some things with her and he's saying, I don't want to go through these things again. So let me set clear boundaries so that we don't have what we had happen already oh, happen shit. again. Saying Holy to shit. model, just like, that's just your boundary. Like, you can't model is the most insane. That, that's the wild. To model is very weird. Yeah, I but, mean, unless, unless context, unless every time she goes and models, she fucks the photographer, then maybe you have to draw a line. Or the other but, models that are there. No, because at that point, she's a hoe. And if she a hoe, then you need to leave. You don't get to set boundaries. But we already them. discovered that men love Hoes. I've been saying Especially that. rich ones Then let yeah. me hoe If you love me as a hoe nah, Let me hoe But see that's the thing No you, that's when, whack When men get a hoe mm. They want her to stop hoeing But to still hoe For him mm. Be okay. my hoe Don't be everybody else hoe right. Be my hoe And to post sexual pictures She would flip this And just be like He pulled his dick out In Wolf of Wall Street He did, he did? do that Full dick We didn't need Jonah's dick Saying in Wolf of Wall Street Is just crazy That was a movie <laughs> She said she You didn't. pulled your dick out in Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, but mo- modeling is like acting. Million. She said she didn't know the curse from the kiss from you people was uh, CGI'd until that whole story came out. No, afterwards. Lauren is a woman with she didn't know. <laughs> no, Lauren has clear cut. See, he want her to be like yeah. Lauren. He got CGI you up. this kiss. We are not. She has contract asks. Yeah, absolutely. We're not kissing. CGI the kiss. These aren't even like sexual. It's just her. That that is kind of crazy. I would I wouldn't feel the way, but that is wild. We're, what, we're actors. Like, t- am I that repulsive? Maybe his breath stink. Or maybe Lauren just didn't want to kiss a white man. I mean, true. But it's acting. She would have kissed Wolverine, though. Hugh what? Jackman? Which, one, which one's Wolverine? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman? Yeah, I don't think she would have kissed Why did you just That's a weird Hugh white Jackman man to land on. this. Huh? Yeah, that's like random. Why, why Lauren, that's wasn't he, like, a... voted, like, sexiest man of the year, like, three years ago? Well, you, that's own? a very specific but, stat. You was know? he in your dream, too? What? Dream about Wolverine I don't like white guys. and, and you Black can't, Thought I mean, is fuck. What? Being the sexiest yep. man during quarantine, I mean, does that really count? No, but you, you Jackman was, you know, he was, he was the guy in Hollywood at one point. <laughs> Everyone let themselves he was, go. He that was, year. he was definitely the guy. The guy. Yeah, in Hugh Jackman was the guy in Hollywood. Then it was Thor, mm. right? Yeah, you see Marvel. Uh, what's that guy's name? Back. I would shoot Chris Hemsworth, the screenwriter, if they tried to CGI my kiss with Thor. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> well, to close this up, I would just you think kiss Jonah Hill. 
I'm sorry. I'm Did sorry you get Jonah Hill? Uh, depends on uh the contract. I don't know. Depends on the contract. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we're shooting a movie. <laughs> Not, I'm not saying yeah. if he walked in here, would you kiss him? I'm saying if y'all were in a movie. If I took acting very seriously and that's what I wanted my career to be and it was in the script for me to kiss Jonah Hill, I would kiss Jonah Hill. It's in the script. If you take this craft, serious. <laughs> yeah, I don't take my craft that seriously. But no? they okay. told me that I could, yeah, he tripping. I don't, I don't that, that shit means. Um, <laughs> I'm not kissing Jonah Hill. If you're a professional actor, it's not Yeah, no, I, I kiss Jonah if I was a professional actor. I'm not though. I'm not kissing no man. If wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. I'd prefer Jonah. Oh, come on. I don't want to kiss a sexy man, but it's weirder. That is weird. <laughs> Why? Why is that <laughs> weird? No Tongue down Brad Pitt? That's yeah, kind of that, weird. Yeah, that's way worse than me just giving Jonah a peck. I would the never, because then that would, the Jonah kiss would be probably in a funny context. The kiss with yeah. Brad Pitt would be like, why is he kissing Brad Pitt? I'm yeah. not, I'm not, what? I would never, what is wrong I, am, with I would never. And why was that the best performance of your entire acting <laughs> career? Why were you so good at yeah, kissing Yeah, I got Brad? MTV uh, Movie Awards Best Kiss. Yes. Yes. That's a sick award to have. Like, <laughs> and you got it on your mantle. But if you say the best you think about like with, it. With who? Oh, Brad? <laughs> Jonah? Jonah Hill? <laughs> no, you're guaranteed an Oscar. If you are in a movie with Brad Pitt and he's playing gay and you kiss him, you oh, guys- for sure. You're going all the way. Yeah. You guys are going to get a Peabody. I would never kiss a man. Peabody. A Peabody. <laughs> they give you an EGOT? <laughs> And he got <laughs> for the same movie. Just for one thing. Just what's, for one yeah, thing. Take, this, take this movie on Broadway now. <laughs> like, what? You would get a Pulitzer Prize for a visual. <laughs> you didn't write anything. Oh, fuck out of here. Would never happen. Speaking of Pulitzer Prizes, uh, Adam 22. <laughs> Weird segue. He did it, back. though. He did it. Fuck it. Adam 22 is still on the uh, press run. Uh, if you don't know, Adam 22 and his wife, Lena, who is a, is a porn star, uh, he allowed... Uh, or he agreed to let Lena sleep with another man for the first time in seven years a few weeks ago or a few months ago, however long these ago they filmed this scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now Adam is rolling out the entire, uh, whatever you want, press run Definitely for press this run. Uh, for this sex scene. Uh, so they, they had a whole interview with the actor who she his wife filmed the scene with. And Adam asked the actor who had sex with his wife if he would let his wife have sex with someone else. And he definitively said, absolutely not. Would not happen. Now, if I was Jonah Hill or Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, this is how you lean into it. I would do a sketch with Adam 22 Mm -hmm. where he is our boundaries consultant and teaches us about the rights and wrongs of boundaries. Mm -hmm. Because Adam's definition of boundaries is kind of like when the British came to America. There wasn't a border in sight. This is just everything. It's ours now. (laughs) Don't even draw a line and say this entire thing. Not a boundary in sight. Right. The equator does not even exist. I was I looked at this. Right. I saw this clip and I saw uh, Lena said that she didn't feel like Adam was a cuck. And I immediately thought of Edin. Right. And uh, naturally. <laughs> Why? Well, because we had, me too. Well, only because we've had cuck talk before, Edin. You're the first cuck I met. Yeah, you're the first I'm cuck. Well, second, cuck. Second. Well, well cuck. it's funny that you say that because Lena said she didn't feel like Adam was a cuck because cucks are they want to be humiliated. They yeah, they want to like watch. Like, they actually want to see yeah, it. They, they want to see. They want to watch. Yeah. You're um, a cuck with boundaries. Though. But Adam said he watched and he said to the guy, you put it down. <laughs> so that, that, is that, that it's a like cuck. virtual cucking. That's yeah, cuck. I, I, listen, it is kind of virtual I, cucking. But sitting there hit, letting you, you hearing your wife say, you know, she was sore for days uh, after the scene. And I, <laughs> look at Rory's face. Listen, I, Rory what? is in pain. <laughs> She's Ew. in more pain. Adam tweeted, he said, it's officially been a week since I let my wife do a porn with another guy. I, I felt a little jealous at first, but overall, it wasn't that big a deal. She's watched me sleep with hundreds of girls, and it's never affected our relationship. <laughs> Sleeping with that gentleman, called him a gentleman, that's wild. Sleeping with that gentleman has been amazing for both her career and our business. The video hasn't dropped yet. Overall, I'm glad we did it, and I'm happy to report her vagina has returned to its original pre- That's a weird ass tweet. Something uh, shape. Yeah. Here's a all right. Well, Adam is leaning into this. BBC pre BBC side. He can't fight it. He knows that everybody's looking at him like, "Yo, you're a clown. You're a weirdo. You let your wife fuck another guy." Um, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So he's leaning into it. He's not fighting it. He's Bro, you know, look at the post. Let me all right. Let me play Monday Morning Quarterback to somebody uh, fucking my wife. Adam started this rollout wrong with honesty. He was sitting there with Crit Mac. It didn't even seem like it was planned. Crip Mac was just like, yo, cuz, you let, you let her fuck? And he was like, actually, it's funny you bring that up. Yeah, she did just fuck a guy, and I can't lie, I felt weird about it. And then the internet took that, and two days passed. Mm-hmm. You know how long two days is in the no jumper world? Yeah. It's like 10 years. Yeah. 
Then he went too far. I think he probably had a lot of conversations behind the scenes with people he respects mm -hmm. that know how to maneuver the internet. And they said, Adam, you're fucking this up. You have to lean into it. And then people can't really say shit about you. Mm -hmm. Too much time passed. And then he leaned too far into it. He still looks uncomfortable to me. If yeah. he really was on some like, bro, I married a porn star. We fuck other girls. This is part of the life. If you guys don't understand that, then that's cool. But this is our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's not what's happening here. He said, I was uncomfortable and now is doing like too much of the leaning. Well, because we, he, shit. well, because he has to. Because again, you're not going to win this argument. There's way too many people out there that disagree with you allowing your wife to sleep with another man. You're not going to win that argument. Mm. And I think the fact that he saw that and recognized that, he has now took on the role, like you said, to lean into it. But let's talk about the after, because we know all of this is about, you know, this, this promoting it. Yeah. It's promotion. It's a weird time we're in. Everybody, you know, creating content, even if it means allowing your wife to sleep with another man. Let's create content. This is going to make us a lot of money. OK, cool. My thing is, what does the after effects of this have now when it's time to, you know, now for studio comes with them with a bigger bag for her to now let three guys at one time have sex with Yikes. Well, this is where we discuss boundaries. D but then d there's no boundary now. Train. How, clearly, how, that doesn't mean clearly no money, boundary. clearly money and content conquers all in the Adam 22 household. Choo -choo. If it's for the content and it's if it makes great content and it makes great money, they're down for it. There's, I don't know if there's anything outside, anything more humiliating than letting another man sleep with your wife, even if she is a porn actress. Well, let me ask a, a weird question. He's like really popular though, this guy, right? Like, that, is he like yeah, the hove? Yeah. Is he like the hove of that world? The hove. Like, like I'm saying, is he, number, is he number one? That's a little weird. He's the up and coming. Yeah. Uh, he's up and coming. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, he's up and coming. Hey, oh. the, the, oh, the guy she slept like, with, zing. Like, I mean, he's like, he's not, he's not Mr. Marcus. Okay, no, so he's, he's like, more like, he's, he's, more he's like, like little baby. He's like the cult. I want to be no, no, very no, careful. Still a legend in his own right. Yeah, still a legend in the game. He's an older. What's his name? I want to be very careful with my Google here. I don't remember his name, but he's an older porn guy. He's not new to porn at all. Okay, so let's. He's been doing porn for years. I don't. That's getting weird. I don't know which. I don't know. Is he hove of the porn? He's a young OG, if you will. He's nothing young okay. about him. He's an older guy. He's probably older than Adam. He looks weathered. Okay, well, He's I asked that to say... Are you good? If nice. another offer comes in, like, what would be next besides multiple men? If he's at the top of the porn shit, it's not like... Well, that's what I just It's not said. like a bigger porn star could call and be like, all right, bigger bag, bigger name. If he is... The Paul Brothers. You gotta go... What? Please bleep that. Um, if he's that high up, like... Yeah, so multiple is the only way you go. Well, that's what I just said. It's going to be him and his two homies next. The Paul brothers. That's I'm telling you where this is going. Like, mm. Adam and yeah. Lena, I already said I give them two years before their relationship is over. I think this, the, the next wave would be uh, her, Adam, and another guy. Johnny said. That's what's going to sell tickets. That's putting asses in seats. Uh, well, at that point, you, now your relationship is over. Now you're just doing this shit for content. They could do a week at the garden. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Open for Drake. <laughs> That's nasty. That's nasty, Julian. How's that nasty? But I mean, again, I you know, Adam, I get it. You know, content and in the in the bag, but there's just certain things that you just got to keep personal and private. And you know, I'm, to me, allowing your wife to sleep with another guy, I, I don't know. That's just this week has shown me on the internet, outside of the jokes that are fun. Like on a serious note, do whatever the fuck works for your relationship. But this if is, you don't want your wife going to the Usher concert with her ass out, express that and find some world where you're either together and respect it or don't. Jonah Hill probably shouldn't, if you have an issue with bathing suits, models, and men, maybe don't date a surfer. So uh, just do what works for you. For, for five million dollars, would you, would you let a, a, another no. man sleep with your wife? No. Six million? No. Seven? Two million. There's not a dollar There's amount. There's not a dollar <laughs> There's amount. Not, I'm sorry. We can't play this game. There's no dollar amount. 10 million. See? <laughs> you see how, see how simple that was? <laughs> nope. No. Not doing it. Yeah, but so, you're also not in that business. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and he also never would wife a porn but, star because But again, of that. Adam created, they were still making money. A lot of money. No, I know. I, I, I know. So I know. he created a way it was like, okay, let's still fulfill, let's still u utilize your platform and what you do, which is she's into porn. Now let's bring female porn stars. Let's do a podcast with them. And then we have sex together. We talk about a genius. You still get to, you know, utilize your platform, your mm -hmm. talent, and your and your your following. I get to use mods with the podcast world, and we make great. Now you're talking about okay, she's back into the yeah. porn world with men. Now that 
that concept is so great until it's not. Till the day she's like, well, now let's add a guy to the mix. <laughs> and that's where like, yeah. I've talked about, I fully understand open relationships. I think those relationships probably last the longest. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not mature enough or built to live in that space. Do I think it'd be really cool if my wife gave me permission to fuck any girl I want? Of course. But there's also a flip side to that coin. Now I have to be comfortable with her fucking other dudes, no, which don't. I'm not. So I stay out of that world. You don't have to. I'm not that strong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maul, would you do uh, open, nope. one-sided? <laughs> I'm one-sided, meaning you do you th your thing, but she, yeah, can't. Like Tuesday. in a relationship would I like have sex with other girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my girl knows? Yes. Like she's aware of it. You're not, you know, hiding anything. I don't know, man. I, You're not coming home like, you know, I just You know what's bitch, funny? Like, 10 years ago, if you asked me this, I would say yeah. Okay. But now, I just don't know because I look at even if your girl is okay with it, it just opens the room for like shit to like interfere with your relationship by you just sleeping with other girls. Yeah. It just opens. It's like anything can happen. You know what I mean? Like e emotions get evolved or, you know, she may one day just feel like, you know, you still are you still talking to that girl. You still keep in touch with her. Like mm. it just leaves room for too much other shit. And now if you have a girl, I look at it like your barber. You wouldn't cheat on your barber, right? So why, even if your barber was like, yo, I'm not going to be here. Mm. Mm. I'm going away for two weeks. Like, I wouldn't go get another cut from somebody else. It's a more sacred relationship, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So why not have that same type of sacred relationship with your girl? Like, but I don't- I'm controlling and manipulative. I don't like when my barber goes on vacations. Yeah, but- Like, you, who are you to go on a vacation? But just get, get a cut before your barber goes Sound engineers and barbers are not- But like, them. barbers can see when you cheat on them. Sound Girls engineer? can't see when you cheat on them. They can see it. They can see it. I think what Maul is saying, the best option is just to lie it. and deceive and cheat and hope she doesn't figure it out. It's better for everyone. That's not what That seems to be the <laughs> that, is, that seems to be what he's saying. <laughs> it's honestly. way no, better. That's not, bro, I'm telling you. That I, is hip hop. 10 years Big ago, I would be yeah. down. I would be 100% like, hell yeah. Like, I would do it. Okay. But I just don't know because you start to see that, number one, sex is great if it's, if it's great. Like, if the sex is good, great. yes. Mm. But- I've had enough sex. I've had enough sex to know that Big as it. soon as you nut, right. it's kind of like uh, okay. They need a pill. They need to make a pill that can eradicate post nut clarity. Oh, I like that. That would. Can it you is. imagine how much yes. better we would? Blue Chew now. Blue Chew. <laughs> you, <laughs> you said you're still ready to go. <laughs> yeah, the Blue Chew. That, that's what I'm saying. It's just like sex is great if it's great, but I don't. I just don't think that is worth. The shit that may happen. Like, if you have a girlfriend and y'all are like super cool, y'all relationship, y'all friends, like everything is, this is your your friend, like your best friend. I just don't think it's worth fucking other girls. I just don't think it's worth it. Damaris, would you would you find it weird if you were about to sleep with a man for the first time, y'all been talking, mm -hmm. like things were good, dating, and he said, Hey, after we finish, do you mind just like leaving me alone for a little bit? I have intimacy issues and I don't like to talk after sex. Matter of fact, it'd be easier if you leave and we talk tomorrow morning. Do I would love that? I feel like you should say that before you fuck. No, I wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. Before. Like oh, okay. the before. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. I'll I can I'll be on my Jonah Hill. Like, okay, I see your boundaries. I'm you're not for me. This is not for me. Got That's it. what he did. No. But no, you would my appreciate ego, the honesty, my ego right? can't take that. I appreciate you telling me before I sleep with you. Mm. But no, my ego can't take that. I need you to like be in love with me. And this is why women claim they want honesty, but don't. Right. Mm. Cause I wish I'd be able no, to no, say no, that no, to see, a girl. No, and that's, I hate when men do that because you guys want to be able to be honest and then want everybody to just still go along with what you said just because you were honest. No. No, I appreciate your honesty and I'm so happy that you were honest with me, but I'm not okay with it. That doesn't correlate with my boundaries. So we're, you're not the person for me and I'm going to leave. But you guys don't like that. You don't like when there's a reaction to your honesty. Mm. You want to be yeah. honest. I think you're talking about you, a very specific You force us to manipulate. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about a specific man. Like I don't I'm I'm not I'm not mad if somebody's reaction to my honesty is they don't they don't agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. At least I was honest. Like That's, I wasn't going at what your response was. I think women don't want honesty because they'll leave and we'll be like, all right, bet. Because the honest man is going to say bet if you're not with his honesty. You ever been the honest real honest him? man is that's not manipulating you and says, this is what I need or want. And if you say no, the actual honest man is be like, all right, cool. I respect it. You ever Peace. been honest with somebody and it worked? 
Yes. Yeah. Just a yeah, that's my bag. Oh, yeah. That's not your bag. It, that, no, bag. that's, that's, that's not your Julian's bag. bag. I've that's seen Julian's your bag. bag. That's not Listen, your bag. That's Julian's the bag. The knows my bag. We've, seen, bag. we've seen your Lululemon bag. That's not it. <laughs> that's not <laughs> That's my old I've bag. I've seen your Lululemon bag. I got a new bag now. I got a new bag. I got a new bag. got a brand new bag. No, your new, your new I've bag had, is being you, honest. You've done the, you've gone on dates with girls or at some point and they're like, um, no, I know. they go like, oh, well, just so you know, we're not, I'm not going home with you tonight. Without hesitation, without stutter, I'll just be like, okay. Mm-hmm. That has no bearing on what we're doing right now. It, it does not matter at all. I'm never going to ask if you want to even go to my apartment. We'll just go along with the night as if that wasn't going to happen anyway. And then sure enough, you always end up back at the apartment. And all that. That's when you whisper in the air while you're hitting it. Like, I thought we wasn't coming back to my place. <laughs> but like, you, you've definitely had that happen, right? No, I'll never whisper in the if mic you, again, If please. you push back, if you push back, that's when they feel like, <laughs> why that's is when it, the red flag start. Why is it that made consensual sex sound... <laughs> Horrible. Unconsensual. <laughs> Nasty. No, it's consensual sex. But I know it is, but why did that make it gotta, sound like it wasn't? Have, you gotta have fun while you're having sex. Like, all that shit she was talking, like, uh huh, what happened? Were you thought, listening to you ain't even know it at the time? <laughs> yeah, I, I was <laughs> literally about to say that it gave no, break. I, I thought that, I thought that we wasn't coming break. back to my place. Like, I thought you said you laid the boundaries down when we got to dinner. Like, yo, I'm not doing this. Okay. Man, okay, if a girl say that when you get to dinner, you're fucking her. No, oh, not, sure. not really. Not really. I'm, nah. You know what it is? Because no. you, and as you know, Demarcy, if you go on a date with a guy, the date could start and you'd be like, oh, this nigga, uh, he going to try it. I already know. Mm. And then you look up and you just having such a great time that it's just like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't even fuck. think I was going to like this dude. You end up liking him. And it happens. Like, I've been on dates with girls. Where I was like, she ordered ketchup for these for fish. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. That's your boundary, bro? Excuse me? That's I, a good boundary. Listen, That's I agree good with you kidding me? I ketchup on them. fish? She's capable insane. of anything. But what yeah. if she did the mayonnaise with the aioli? Nah, mm-hmm. you don't need aioli for Branzino, bro. I'm not Who mad. Said it was a Branzino. If she tries yeah. to make her own little, because if a girl tries to order order some sauces and makes them to make her own little, that that might mean like, okay, she those are psychopaths. No, that's not psychopaths. No, because I've done that. She may have yeah, an acquired taste, and she, you. she may really be able to cook. Mm. So you look at that like, okay, but if you just order straight up ketchup, might as well just get her the coloring book uh, on the menu before. <laughs> and she you guys start experimenting with sauces. Take a girl out on a that date. sounds like some toddler shit. If you take a girl out on a date and she orders, you know, like how the menus are, the last two items are like usually far more expensive than the rest of the menu. If she orders from one of those things, do you feel a way? No. 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 Do you feel a way, Julie? No, I'm just, I know a lot of guys that like get mad like when they tell horror date stories like, and she ordered the da-da-da. I'm like, you, like that you bothered you. You invited her out like, to eat, bro. She yeah, ordered same. something you from the it. menu? You got mad she ordered the oh, steak because it's like five to $15 more than everything else. I've seen guys get. Deal, you're talking deal about a very it. specific guy right Yeah. There. <laughs> They're going to have to do <laughs> You're talking about a very specific guy. I don't care what a girl, as long as she's not like wilding out. She just knows how to eat. Yeah. It's not what she's eating. It's how she's eating it. The only time I've judged that is if I had a longer date planned and we were starting with dinner Mm -hmm. and we had a lot of activities for the remainder of the night and she orders something at the bottom of the menu. Crushed a porterhouse? You have to have a stomach of steel. (laughs) Yeah. Because we have a lot of activities for the next five hours where there will only be public bathrooms around us. Do you do activities before dinner or after dinner? It depends. I I do like to do dinner. I like dinner and then... Activities. I like I like activities before dinner. Because then you got something to talk about? Yeah. When we sit down, it's kind of like, you know, now we can talk. Probably worked up an appetite. Now you can see how she really eats. Don't give me the cute eating, girl. No. Go ahead and order. Eat that shit. Like, I want to <laughs> see how you eat. Don't cute eat around me. Like, I know you can bust down some shit. Like, eat. I want to see how you eat. Like, But I'm sure like, women are You look like you stare at women while they're eating, too. Intimidated by I, your I veganism. I, I laugh at them, though. I'm like, damn, you was hungry, huh? Like, that whole <laughs> shit gone. Kill yeah, because that doesn't make a woman sensitive. No. no. But I don't. But it's not like. It's not like. It's not like damn, a sensitive you thing. body like, that. God nah, damn. Women like, know that if they are with me, I'm going to crack, crack jokes. That's what I do. I don't care who it is. I'm cracking jokes. Even though I don't think Maul is judgy, I could see someone not knowing him could perceive him as a judger. And imagine you're going on a date with Maul. You like him. You've heard maybe he's judgy. He's a vegan. No, I'm not ordering a rack of ribs in front of you. Uh, like, I'd feel weird. I let, yeah. be, I let that be known up front. Do you girls can, change their dietary, like what they would order in front of you because no what you vegan? eat? Not, they, they, I, I make that clear. Like, you can eat whatever you want. I'm not one of those guys. Like, you can eat whatever you want around me. I don't give a fuck. 
But women do say like, yo, like, is it all right? I'm like, yeah, like, I'm not one of those. Like, you eat whatever the hell you want to eat. Well, I'm, it's different because I'm not going to order the sharing macaroni and cheese and I know that you can't eat it. And then I'm sitting up you eat a it. big ass side. You know you want to eat the whole thing. You if you normally yeah. order a whole trough of fucking mac and cheese for yourself and shit, <laughs> eat it. I don't give a shit. He's going like, to watch you eat that trough. whole shit. You, but he's not judging, right? A I'm trough. Not, no, I'm, it's not a judging thing, but I'm like, listen, you like, you could eat. Like, mm. okay, that's that's information now. You eat nasty that night? Huh? You eat nasty that night? I mean, she got to take a shower first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't give a... F that what, what, do you think the mac and cheese noodles hanging out her ass? <laughs> I mean... God, I hope not. All right, but what if she hasn't... What if how she hasn't used the, the bathroom yet? How do you yet? think the ass works? But telling her to Yo, take a shower before she's taking a shit works. is kind of weird. No. Like, what if she did... What if it do, didn't digest yet? No, go do whatever you need. If you need to take a shit and then take a shower, do what you wow, need to do. Wow, what if the mood's all hot and heavy and you just want, like, you come in the door, like, you're, like, all over each other. You're not yeah. gonna be like, all right, wait a minute. Here's go the take towel. a shower real quick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Then I'm just not eating no ass that night. Okay. All right, that's fair. All right, so, fair. You don't get your ass licked off the <laughs> off the seat of the, the restaurant. And that not, oh it'd be harmful for you, though, because what if the dairy transfers and then your stomach Acts up after you. Yo, mm. yo, Rory. that's not exactly Rory. how far do you think my tongue is going? To ass. I heard you're an eight. I don't know. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what's wrong with you? That's what the not, street that, said. I don't that's, know. That's Ew. not happening, man. But yes, if you are out with a woman, like she, let her order whatever she wants. Yeah, and then you decide in your mind if you're ever taken out again. Have you ever had a woman who doesn't drink pressure you to get? A drink? Absolutely. It happens every time I go out. But you get a glass of wine. You 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 probably do. Well, yeah, that. but women don't like when I just drink wine. What? They want to shove like shots on auto and all this other shit. I'm like, I'm not drinking that. They not smart. Well, I've been out with women that don't drink. Excuse me? And they're like, oh, but it's okay. You get a drink. I'm like, nah, I'll get a lemonade too. A Sitting there like throwing lemonade. alcohol back and she doesn't drink. It's just, weird. It's weird to me. And it's, it's also about- It's fine. Like, fine. I'm just not going to drink either. But don't tr ask me to drink. But it's also very, it's also about where you are. Mm. Like, you can't just drink everywhere. Like, people don't know that. Like, there's some spots you be like, I'm not drinking none of this I shit. don't know about that, bro. Well, you're still young, bro. You, you'll drink uh, at a fucking true. park if you, you don't give a fuck. Drink yeah, that's park crazy. Is a lot drink at the park. The park. No, but like, he'll, like, he won't even know nobody. Who goes in the park sober? Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> I just go to the park sober. You want train sober? Yeah, wait, every time he goes to the park, Yo, right? He sleeps <laughs> in the park. <laughs> hey, Rory, wake up, bro. It's time to go. <laughs> you know how hard it is to sleep in the park sober? <laughs> it's really <laughs> difficult. He has a point. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of music news I felt like happened when we were gone as well. Um, the best news, in my opinion, Utopia, Travis Scott, out wherever, not everywhere, July 28th. A lot of pressure on Travis with this, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Of course, not a make or break album for Travis Scott, but mm -hmm. when you have Astro World to me, which was one of the best albums of those five year, whatever era that was, and you took this much time off, yeah, you have to deliver. Well, we know why he took the time off. You think it was because of the Astro World controversy? It was going to come out that summer. It was the album was coming that summer. Oh, mm. so do you think a lot of what was on that album is going to be on this one? No, not at all. Yeah, I think, I think he probably album. redid it completely, which may have you know helped him in some creative ways. But there's still a lot of pressure on. Regardless, take away the actual Astro World incident, um, and rest in peace to the people that you know lost their lives that day. It's still a lot of pressure. Yeah, like. You had one of the best albums of an era. That shit is kind of flawless, Astro World. I don't know if it's pressure though, because I don't think that anybody expected Astro World to be as good as it was. I think that Travis is just existing in the world that he created for himself, and um, he just he's sharing pieces of that with his his fans and his audience. I think Travis is in a very unique space as an artist right now. I think that uh, people recognize that everything for him is. It's like a it's a capsule, mm -hmm. and I think this is just the next capsule of his, and I think people are excited and you know anticipating it. But I don't know if it's pressure. I think it's anticipation. I think that people are excited. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he's having I think the the album release party or listening something in the Gaza in, mm -hmm. at the pyramids, which is fucking incredible. I know Kanye is somewhere right now pissed off that he wasn't the first one to do this. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure Kanye has had some, you know, they they spoke about this. Um, they, these are ideas that I think that him and Kanye collectively have sat down at some point or another and talked about doing. But we, we've seen in the past that Ye can get a little jealous. 
This he's he's to gonna be... see this and go to Bethlehem to do his fuck. No, this yeah, he's this, 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 like bro. in the manger. He's gonna yeah. dig up a sarcophagus. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like, are you kidding me? This is this is this is something. This That's is funny. something that I think all artists look at and are like, wow, you know, just the fact that he's able to pull something like this off. Um, I think that it's gonna be amazing, just because again, Travis has been. Uh, you know, he he's been in a, a really dope creative state in the last few years. Everything mm. to him is a moment. He wants to push, you know, the creative boundaries every time out. And I think that this is just another example of that. I'm looking forward to this. I, I really I'm excited to see what him and his team are able to do with this. Um, it's a point we bring up a lot with artists that are at this point in their career with Travis as far as time and discography. Travis has definitely created a sound for himself one of the few artists I think of this generation that has a signature sound and has significantly changed how modern music exists. Mm -hmm. Do we think we're just going to get more of the same? Because Astroworld to me was like the perfect, it was almost like his views. Like it, everything we love about Travis is in one album and that's Astroworld. As mm -hmm. far as what his sound was, as far as his raps, does he, does he have to move on? Of course there'll be the signature Travis sound in there to some degree. Yeah. But does he not get put in the category of other artists similar to a Ye because he hasn't been too innovative outside of his sound? I don't think that he has to move on. I think that he has to stay true to just who Travis is and what Travis has going on, what he's doing. I, you know, it's when you create an album like Astroworld, it's a gift and a curse because that's the one album that everybody loves. And it's like, this is amazing. And like you said, now you almost have to live up to that or surpass that album which honestly isn't fair to artists yeah because it's like damn like i gave y'all that but that's where i was at that time that's what was going on those are the things that i was feeling now with utopia this is the next installation like this is where i'm at now so it's it's a gift and a curse to create an album that good and every artist goes through it every great artist you know experiences it where people are like oh but it's not still not better than this it's like yeah but that's that was that this is something but, totally different but why don't you think it's fair because i feel because as an artist, as a creator, you know, it's, it's just not fair to hold an artist like it has to be this every time or better than this. Like, I'm no. not saying that, but it has to change. Like to me, Travis is in a different category. And I mean that as a compliment. But when you get into that category, I think you have other pressures that we don't put on other artists because you're so talented and you have pushed the sound so much. Mm -hmm. We have put you in the category of that artist. Now, what comes with that? is are you going to continue to push the sound? Mm -hmm. Like, say what you will about Kendrick, if you're not a fan of him or not, he has had drastically different sonics on every single project. Right. We've seen Drake do it. Mm -hmm. um, Cole probably hasn't experimented as much as them, but definitely has. Mm -hmm. And when Astroworld came out, the conversation was, all right, we talk about the big three. You kind of have to put Travis at four or five now, whether you want to put Future, Nicki, whatever, rotating mm -hmm. there. Yeah, he's in that category now where he has an expectation Mm -hmm. to continue his sound and move it forward instead of just giving us more of the same just with different features or at a different time in his life. I think that there's expectations for quality. Mm. I think there's expectations for, you know, presentation. Obviously, the, he's, in, he's in Gaza at the pyramids. Just the presentation speaks for itself at this point, and we haven't even seen it yet. But um, I think that that's what's expected of Travis, just a certain level of art, a certain level of taste, a certain level of execution. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's expected of Travis. Now, the music, I think the music is expected to be good. I think the music is, is expected to have replay value. I think it's expected to have uh, dope features and things like that. But I don't know if there's an expectation of a certain sound. I think people know the sound that Travis can produce and that he can create. I think people just want that I do think he has room for experiment, no? I think he can try different things. Mm. But I think that as long as it's to the level of Travis Scott and his and what his fans love, I think that they're going to be happy with it. I don't think that it's going to be any lesser than an Astro World. I don't know if it'll be better than an Astro World. I think that's a subjective thing. It's for, for the consumer, but I think that the level, the execution will still be at a very high level. Cuz I put a uh, what two Uzi albums ago. Well, three if you're counting this one. And who the fuck am I? I just, this is my opinion. It's obviously not law. I was starting to think maybe Uzi was creeping into that category of innovator 
as far as the sound of modern music goes two albums ago. Mm -hmm. Then the one before this, I was like, mm, maybe he's not that. And I think with this last album, I'm not hating or using the cop out of it's not for me. I'm just speaking solely on pushing his sound forward. Mm -hmm. It didn't do much of it at all to me. And now I don't, I don't view Uzi probably the same way I did earlier in his career. Mm -hmm. I kind of had him in that, oh, he might be one of the ones category as far as really changing the sound, especially for his generation and the young people younger than me. Mm. Travis, I have in that category. I think he needs to show and prove on this one to really continue that legacy. But Uzi, of course, it's great music. It's not bad. But this last album and the one before that, plateau, stagnant as far as sound. I think as far as sound. Little pushback. Okay, please. I, again, this is coming from someone that probably I, but shouldn't even are, review Uzi's music. No, but, but these two, I understand what you're saying, but... Do we do we feel like Uzi's a better artist than Travis? No, because I don't. No. no, no, no. Right. So I understand what you're saying about Uzi being the superstar that he is, and but I think the music is significantly different between Uzi and Travis. I think Uzi leans more towards the rock. Well, that's why I was. Oh, yeah, no, no. Sound. I'm not comparing their music per se. I'm comparing the evolution of who they sound. are as artists and what they could represent in their generation and their era as far as moving the sound forward. Like being innovative, they do drastically different things. Yeah. But you could also say Travis and Uzi were their generation's Kanye's as far as like just moving sound forward. Right. Not about what your opinion of their music is, mm -hmm. but it has pushed the sound forward. They are those guys. Right. But, but to Maul's point, he said Uzi leans more into the rock side. That's where I think this album is extremely, it's long as hell. It's really difficult to get through in one listen. But the songs on like more of the second half, there's a lot of rock. Yeah. There's like, you can hear proper not, you know, bass and 808s from like a drum kit. You're hearing live like those instruments, yeah. which I think if he takes a band on the road and does like a festival route that way, it could push borderline a rock show. I think he pursued more of the rock sound on this album, which mm -hmm. I personally like. I love live, you know, guitar riffs and real drums, like the double bass kind of going. It works for Uzi. I think he like... I was hoping he'd experiment more with it on his album, but I think he did a good job of like comfortably introducing it into more of his album. The, the difference around. for me with those two is that because Travis, you know, as much as he's rapping and it's, you know, it's it's hip hop drums and production and things like that. It's, yeah. it's rap. He has mosh pits at his shows. So does Uzi. It's, right. So they're both, they both have that element and that energy of a rock type of thing. But I think musically... Travis still leans more on hip hop. Oh, sure. Rap, while Uzi is obviously going more towards rock rap type of vibe. No, I completely agree. I don't think their sounds are alike at all. I just think their purpose was similar at one point. Like when Love is Rage 2 came out, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't for me per se, I still saw the absolute genius in it. Clearly, the kid is a star. Mm -hmm. Like he had every element of what the next A-list superstar in rap could be and how much he's going to change. Mm -hmm. Then the Eternal a Take like yeah. say, came out and it was very underwhelming and more of the same in a shittier way. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, all right, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Right. Pink Tape, if Pink Tape came out right after Love is Rage, like in that sequence of what, 2017 to yeah. 2019, 2020? 2017. I, I would have understood it a bit more. I think with the Eternal a Take, that's like the asterisk in his catalog for me as being one of them, quote unquote. Got it. It's, it's a lot of this, the same. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just the same. I feel you. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, Travis Scott. Uh, again, this is something that I think is going to be one of those situations or one of those things that changes, you know, the entire landscape of how people roll their albums out. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, you know, Egypt at the pyramids. I, we've never seen this. This mm -hmm. is something totally new for all of us. Um, again, I do think that Kanye is somewhere fucking blowing a gasket right now, going crazy. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that they've had conversations like this and he is happy that Travis is actually able to execute this. What's, uh, what's cooler, Travis bringing Kylie to the pyramids or Nas bringing Kim to Queensbridge? Very or simple. Pete Davidson <laughs> bringing Kim to Staten Island. Did Very he drop an album that year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very similar. Uh -huh. They both push the cultures. Yes. Okay. 
Travis's didn't happen yet. Mm. So that's the only reason why I can't really give my honest because we didn't see it yet. It didn't happen. I all right, just off the top of my head, and it could be the age difference thing between the pyramids and Queensbridge. I can name more legends from Queensbridge than I can the pyramids. Oh my god. No, nah, it's not even <laughs> like like Core Mega is not from the pyramids. I just from Queens. That's man. a legend. Well, right the there. pyramids of Queens. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Queensbridge projects yeah. are the pyramids. If you're on Queens. the Queensboro Bridge, take a look to the left and those you will are, see. <laughs> those are the pyramids of Queens. Absolutely. <laughs> Queens is the world's borough. That's a fact. Absolutely. Any predictions on uh, Travis's first week sales? Mm. Want to talk about the new loophole, Rory? I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, that's also why it was great that Travis took some time off. Because he probably benefited from the old billboard rules more than anybody. To the mm -hmm. point that Nikki was even on Twitter like... Stop dating Kardashians and selling T-shirts. Yeah, Billboard just counts it as 10 fucking records. Mm -hmm. Billboard obviously changed everything. They brought a new rule back, um, which we discussed a few episodes ago, that Travis is now taking advantage of yeah. with four different vinyl covers and I believe some CD covers as well. So that would entice some of your core fans when they go to your store to not just buy one Five project. different covers. Because they become collectibles. So mm -hmm. when you go, instead of buying one vinyl that counts as one record sale, you're about to buy five of the same album and it's going to count as five. What if, he, what, if, what if each album cover is like the piece of a pyramid and it's like a puzzle and you have to I get mean, it to like... like you should hit Chase B and get on the creative team. Mm. Yeah, it's like Exodia. I could see him doing something like that. Yeah, that could be cool. Well, are you, uh, you going to take a trip out there? I was just talking to Sean. I, I would love to. I mean, probably not. I would love to, but... That that's probably gonna. Cost we could do an episode from the pyramids. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna cost that's gonna cost a lot to take that. And we we have to be out there for at least. I wouldn't want to be there for at least two weeks. Damn. Yeah, ten ten days minimum. For yeah, me. I'm not like flying that. all the way over to 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 Egypt and just doing what three days? Are you kidding me? Mm. Fuck out of here! I wouldn't want to be there. Like I want to come back with sand in my sneakers. Like gosh, gotcha. that's, mm. that's how long. That sounds uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah, I can take you to Jersey Shore. <laughs> not the sand. Mad sand. Those are the, the colonizer sand. That was that's Italian sand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want no Italian <laughs> sand in my regular house. Might hit a needle. So, what are your predictions uh, for Travis? First week sales. Um, he he might I don't want to say July twenty eighth, right? So that's two weeks from now. Yeah. Also, no single. We're that's going. why I want. I don't want to give a prediction until I see if he drops a single this Friday. Okay. Because I think that will change things drastically. No single. 210. There's a rumored Bad Bunny record. I think I got another feature. Oh, then he's, he's selling oh. 600 first week. Oh, it was load. 480, 480 first His week. His desk yeah. almost came up real quick. With Bad Bunny, 480 first week. Easily. He Fuck. did uh, over 500 from Astroworld. It was like 530 something, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. But I mean, the rules were a lot. Different. Yeah. I'm not taking anything away from him. 2018. But rules were different. I don't know. With no single, I think, yeah, I might steal Maul's answer. 205, 210. Yeah, but no single. Now, if you if he has a Bad Bunny record, fuck. Yeah. yeah then Especially after, two weeks out from your album. We're talking something totally different now. That's a pretty good lead in to get everyone to go stream that shit. Yeah. I'm going to stream all Bad Bunny's album is the number one streamed album of all time. Damn, is it? Jesus. Jesus. Those rules change out. by the day, though. No, but he's like, nobody's catching that. <laughs> Those numbers that he did. <laughs> like, this, I don't know what day you're talking about. Nobody's catching that. That's absolutely insane, the numbers that he did. Update on the Celsius watch. Dun, dun. Uh oh. Not your average energy drink. Thought I'd figured it out because we were narrowing down a lot of people. <laughs> I went through our recycling bin yep. like a crazy person searching for lipstick on the cans. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't like because I thought it was Damaris towards me. Like, that's very. What are you saying? Like, You're in on this with me. We need to discover who is stealing this. OK, it's our product in our studio. Mm. I haven't heard anybody burping yet. That's true. OK, so it's kind of hard. Hmm. Okay. Now, we eliminated Julian. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it's not Julian. Yeah. Got rid of Eden. We got rid of Eden. I went through all the recycle thinking Damaris would slip up and there'd be lipstick on one of the cans. There wasn't or no lip lipstick on the cans. No didn't lip find gloss. any. Mm. Yeah, but now, you know, girls, they know how to waterfall. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Oh, wow. That's true. So you're mm. saying I know how to tilt my head back and catch it is what you're saying. Absolutely. I haven't looked at our our security footage yet, but I will after this episode. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we can, we can see if, you know, Damaris was driving the boat with the Celsius there you okay. go. And, and pouring it in her mouth. But 
No lipstick, no lip gloss. So I Listen, there's no reason to steal a Celsius. We have this by the truckloads. Matter of fact, actually, Yomi's been oddly quiet in the corner mm. during yeah. the Celsius talk. Yomi, let me smell your breath. Yeah. It might be some mandarin marshmallow coming off your tongue right now. Better not smell any of that. Better not even smell a s'more over there. And you're like oddly upbeat all the time. Mm. You're always aware and awake. Mm. She doesn't get sleepy. Yeah. No jitters. Hmm. A lot of energy. All right. Well, I'm going to look at the security footage when, when we've wrapped, and we're going to get to the bottom of this by next episode. Let's do it. The cameras are here. There's cameras? We have cameras. All your nasty stuff has been filmed. But do, they, do they have sound? Without your consent. I know what you drank last summer. Yes. <laughs> With who too? I know who you gave the key card to. In this studio? Yes. Where are the cameras? Mm-hmm. We'll talk later. We'll talk yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. In the bathroom. Moving on. Um, a lot of lists came out while we were uh, on break. The first one being Billboard's top groups of all time. Also, BDOT started running amok again. <laughs> <laughs> B-Dot, I love B-Dot, B-Dot to death, but somebody like just sprain his thumbs. Delete like his week. notes, Pat. We have to lock him <laughs> up. Yeah. I don't want to want to break his thumbs, but just sprain them for like a few weeks so we can That's rethink sick. some of these Listen, lists. Listen, we know what BDOT is doing with these lists. This He's is great clearly to rile people up, yeah. and get people upset, and have sure. people in his mentions. The more interaction under the post, the better. Um, you know, but... I can't. I, I'm. I, there, there. There are two things that I'm trying not to debate no more. Go on, Jordan and LeBron and, and B dots list and B dots list. Okay. I, I say that every. I swear year. to God, I am not trying to debate any of those things anymore. I'm a disgruntled ex with all of B dots list. That's right. I say every year they're like, no, I'm not going to, and then I react. And you go right back to them. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not reacting. You can have at it. Um, I think have we should save. It. We should have save uh, the Billboard groups and B dots top ten mixtapes of all time for Patreon. But we can discuss just off relevancy top 10 best rappers of 2023 so, so far, far in July. Number one, J. Cole. Just J. Cole has one verse this year. Bodied it. Summers on the Summer Walker. Oh. Go. Nah, the yeah, oh, my, oh, my oh, two. The two. Oh, he wrote the a one was just, to it, was a, it was an audio hug. That wasn't a yeah, verse. Yeah, it wasn't a verse. It was, no. an audio it was a that verse. Was encouragement. It was a pretty good one. That was affirmations. Yeah. Oh my it was God. a great verse. Um, oh, I'm not saying life. Cole doesn't belong on the top 10 so far this year, but at oh, number one, <laughs> Killer Mike just put out 18 records. Of, it's such a good album. Of so it's much rapping that is so fucking good. And you have him at number eight. Look, I could make an argument. Killer Mike would be no. number one, if not number two. Cardi B t- being 10 is crazy. Cardi B at 10, I think is crazy. That's sick. Cardi B has rapped more than 21 Savage this year. Max right? will not stand for this. Well, did, with, did 21 album? No, that came out last year. And her loss came out last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw some of her, her, her loss. Okay. Pardon my ignorance. What has 21 put out this year? Peaches and eggplants. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm a 21 fan. He just hasn't put out much. Say what you will about the Jack Harlow album, whether you like it or not. He did more rapping than most of the people on this list right now. Much more rapping. He should be higher. How, what has Benny put out this year? I don't know if Benny's put out anything this year. Tyler should, I say one or two, off the, the deluxe. deluxe album he put out. Yeah, there's five deluxe. records of him rapping. Did rapping. he put something off this year? Lotto, I get being up there. Larry June, I get being there. He's done a lot of rapping this year. Mm. But this, to me, has a list of people that haven't really rapped that much. Who is there? At anyone? least currency put out like a tape. <laughs> is there anyone not on this that you would add? Uh, me personally, I think Boldy James has done a, a lot of great rapping this year. Um. Who else has put... What about Gunna, Thug? I'm just thinking of more A-list type names. Thug, I wouldn't put there. Gunna, you could definitely make a case, should be up here. Ha ha. Gunna's put out... Good one. Uh, that's not even what I was getting at. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> I just live in Entendre. <laughs> I live in Entendre. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all like that off. Entendre. Gunna has done much more rapping than a lot of people on here. And Gunna was rapping. Was, it wasn't bad. Album's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to hear what I know he always puts at the bottom skill, performance, relevance, first six months. BDOT needs to give some explanation on some of these, though. Killer Mike at eight is fucking insane to me. I mean, Belly put out a dope album. Belly. Conway put out a dope album. I, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not debating it. Y'all looking at me, y'all, y'all waiting for my I'm not debating BDOT's list. I'm not. It debating. seems like relevance is carrying a lot of weight on this list. Yeah. He says these are the, the criteria is based on skill, performance, and relevance. Based on this list, because like you yeah, said yeah but if you're gonna it's, Killer Mike that's, makes again no here sense. I am debating this shit because if you're gonna say <laughs> skill performance and relevance he's leaning more heavily on relevance than some of these names uh, 
Amin, he's doing Amin, relevance, then Amin Cardi has be done much. Amine has done more rapping than most people on this list, and it's relevant. The Kate just because it was with Kate doesn't make it. I, I don't know, man. I just this is why I don't want to get involved with debating B Dot's list. So mm. he's saying Love that B-Dot. J Cole's two verses are so amazing because Skill is his first thing that he has up there. J Cole's two verses are so amazing it beats out everybody else's volume. Yeah, but he's good. I feel like he puts Cole at number one on Regar- years. He on, puts nothing up on every list. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be number one on everybody list. Yeah, this I don't know. Yeah. I, B Dot's been getting better the past year, I think, with these lists. But this one, this was egregious to me. It was very odd. Didn't Black Thought put a whole project out this year? Yeah, there's a few. That's a, a few dope rap projects. I, you I dreamt know. about it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Tell us about the projects. <laughs> I did. Um, speaking of new music and Griselda, um, drum work the album, Conway's Click, Jay Skies, Love the Genius, came out on Friday. Definitely check that out. I know Maul was going Shout crazy. Shout out to drum work. Shout out to the guy. Shout out to Conway. Hope you're feeling better, man. You know, his, his leg was was fucked up. Mm. So hopefully my guy's feeling better. Also, Conway's uh festival in Buffalo, August 13th, I believe. Don't worry. Definitely want to try. Yeah, I definitely want to try to make it out to that. Yeah, the footage uh was it last year that they started it or two yeah, years ago? Maybe two years ago. Footage looked really good. Yeah. Looks like it's a lot of fun up there. And Buffalo's a great city, especially in the summer. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to make it up for that. Only because I've I've been to Buffalo maybe twice, but it's never great, like that. Great city in the summertime. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad at doing like a quick like night trip there yeah. and back. Definitely want to do that. I'd definitely be with that. Um, there's a Rory joint on there. I don't know if it's in regards to me, but you know, <laughs> there is a Rory joint on there. Mm. <laughs> another one. Don't know if it's in regards track, to you. Track number five. Um, this was a cool, pleasant surprise. Um, me, Love, and Jay Skeez and Aunt Conway did that record when... Conway recorded his verse for my album that, that same weekend. Mm-hmm. And they texted me the day before. I didn't know it was going to be called Roy's Joint. That was like a really cool surprise. Um, that was a, a fun session. They're both super, super talented. Um, so I, I'm, I feel honored that they called the record that. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Um, I mean, No Bias, clearly the best record on there, right? Clearly. <laughs> By far, not even close. I thought Roy's Joint was a better title. I feel like Roy's interlude, we would have had to pause. <laughs> what? A little bit. Yeah, I feel you. I'm with you. I'm rolling. Rory's joint is pretty. He serves that he's gay. He is. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, you can't put Rory's interlude on a hardcore rap album. No. Rory's joint. <laughs> yeah. That's it might still be a pause in there somewhere, but yeah. we'll let it fly. Depending on the context in yeah, which you we'll let it fly. You look at it. But uh we'll yeah. Check out the drum work album. I'm um, really happy that Jay Ski and, and Love are getting the, the flowers they deserve because they're both very, very talented. Um, so check that out. Um, I'm trying to think any other music stuff happened before uh before we move on. We were gone for a uh, bit. Ransom Ransom put out a dope project. Yes. Uh Ransom has been for the last few years, man, Ransom has been kicking ass. I I, lo- I love the zone Ransom is in. Um B Dot could have put him on that list. Director's Cut Four. Yeah. Uh that's Ran- Director's Cut Four is the best rapping I have heard in 2023. It's some of the best. Uh Sean Smith put out a project. Shout out to that, Sean. That, that's 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 super fire. Um, but yeah, I'm with you. Sean Smith, Hope Dealer, mm. one of the best rap projects of the year for me so far. Uh, Spanish Ran and Aldo, Holy City Zoo. That's another project I think is phenomenal rap project that came out this year. It's a lot of good rap this year so far. Yeah, but um, but Ransom has been on a he's been on a tear. His features, the feature he did with Russ on um, Russ's project. Mm. Ransom has been in a nice, nice zone, man. I, I love the, I love seeing Ransom's growth pause uh, over the years. Um, I said, I paused it. Why would I know, but you didn't that's have to pause. pause. That's a pause. That's a pause. It is R- Ransom's growth. That's a, <laughs> especially when he's been dreaming about Black Thought. Yeah, that's a, nastiness all around the board. Right, yeah, d- someone named Duffelbag Ran. You have to pause. Yeah, it. you got to pause that. But um, yeah, no. Nah, Ran- <laughs> Ransom has been on a, a a dope, dope run. Dope projects, incredible rapping. Great music, um, so I'm just I'm just happy to see Ransom doing his thing and and, and putting out dope. She directors cut four mm. available now, um, but yeah, shout out to Rory's joint on on the drum work album. Pause. Um, oh, <laughs> Cardi dropped another uh, feature too. Of point course me, she did. Point me too. We heard she's it. on her little Wayne feature run. Just letting you guys know. Relax. She's on a little Wayne feature she's run. Her, little, her Wayne or, or Cole, whatever year that I, was. I, I can't say nothing because then they're gonna take it as hate. It's a good verse. 
So I'm not saying the verses are bad. I'm talking about volume. Wayne was it was every week there was. I, a I can't speak on it out. because it's hate. I'm saying that Cardi B is basically Lil Wayne. Okay, that's true. I was being <laughs> facetious. Rory's being ridiculous. Um, I think it's great that Cardi, in the meantime, while specifically Maul is killing her for not putting an album out, she's putting out a verse like once a month. I, I feel like mm. she's staying very active. I, I'm not. I didn't kill her for that's not. That's fine. It's fine. We can move I on. Just said um, <laughs> it's been five years. Can I? I know this is going to come across as hate, no matter how I word it. And you know what? It's kind of hate. Here we go. That big sexy red verse on the baby remix is one of the worst fucking things I've ever heard. Oh, about. okay. I know we're all not allowed to say it because we're all I having know, we're all having fun and we're, we're having a blast. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Pound Town. I fully understand how fun of a song that is. I like saying it too. Which ski, part? Ski is good too. Ski is not a bad record as well, but Shake it's something. it's terrible yeah. rapping. That's fun and that's okay. I have no issue with that. That can only continue on for so long. That verse on the baby remix is so fucking bad and not fun. I didn't have any fun. <laughs> I mean, not fun. <laughs> yeah, the baby song was, it was better. He didn't need her for that. No. He didn't, he didn't need her. He didn't, but. <laughs> he just certainly did <laughs> no. not. No. Rory, no, it's so funny. He but, certainly did No, but good for him just because he's trying to get back in the good graces, go with the, the chick that everyone loves now. I, I get why he put her on there. It's just not a good verse. Like, Wait, it's I'm, bad. I'm currently uh, debating with someone on threads, which we're going to speak of. They said, well, like, Russ in real time? Out. Well, yeah, currently. Okay. For feet pics? Russ, <laughs> shut up. Russ came out and said that Fuck You Mean and um, Taliban's were Song of the Summer. Those are going to be the songs of the summer. Russ said that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said, you got to add Pound Town to that. Sure. The internet is killing me. It's because old. Shocker. <laughs> Because I said that you got to add Pound Town to that. They're like, Pound Town is a terrible song. I'm like, Song of the Summer nah. doesn't mean that it's a yeah. great song. I would just say it's so old that it couldn't really be Song of the Summer. Is it? Pound Town? It came out during the summer. It came out like last summer. It just didn't, it oh, took a shit. while. It was a slow burn. Damn. Well, I feel like it's big now. Yeah. I just want to go on record to say how wrong I was about Act Bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Act you thought that was, was going to be Song of the it. Summer? I think that it deserves it, but I don't think that anybody, I don't think that sound is. Pound Town came out right, anyway. Out, outside of, okay. Yeah. Act Bad kind of went away. I Act Bad that, definitely that went video away. of Rory dancing. Yeah. Did I jinx it? It was yeah. like, I was like, right, it? We're, we're acting different. It Came was like it when uh, when Tom Cruise went on and did uh, exactly. the Young Jock shit on Oprah. Just, <laughs> yeah. just killed the record. Once I started acting bad, everyone was like, nah, we good now. Yeah, we're yeah, fine. Good. Yeah. Now we good. We're now we good. Act good. <laughs> we're going to church. We got yeah. morals. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about uh, those girls that keep uh, running around oh, in I every city? Fuck, I forgot what Hello, Christ. I'm finna sin again. That's my shit. Okay, that's just. Right, is there a I full love song you of that, that man, but I'm not feeling him. They get off to a good start, and they're really good at dodging pedestrians. I can't be mad at them. <laughs> but does the song continue? Because they give two cool verses for 15 Dude, seconds. Did this happened while I was in Montreal. Like I don't know what the fuck y'all talking. It's about. what like You're two, three Brian weeks. This going. It's a little. The audience is a little young. For you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm, it's I these two no girls, idea. and you don't. You're not on the internet much, but they go. They went viral because for their promotion for their song, they perform the song but they're running full speed and like somebody's chasing them with the camera and they're running singing these lyrics oh yeah. so this is like onyx the, the new onyx Sh- sure yeah sure okay. all right got yeah. it no that de- definitely resembles sticky <laughs> on the second verse <laughs> or uh, I gotta, uh, I gotta it's, it's a good record I just, is there a names. is there a full version of it or it's just the tiktok there's a full version i'm sure there's a full that's version. Just oh, like nobody a knows it i want to hear the other verses because yeah. i like those first they, they was on the tiktok uh Kissing Styles. It was oh. going back and forth. And listen, I've never man, seen Kissing Styles run down Broadway as fast as those girls ran through Venice. Yeah, I, listen, I, I get it. I understand this whole new young wave and catching viral songs and moments. I get it. But when y'all say, oh, y'all thought this was going to be Song of the Summer, the reason it's not is because these records are just for a quick moment. A lot of these songs that we sure. like. This, it's, it's little quick one-liners in there that we love. But overall, the song is just not something that people want to keep listening to. I disagree when it comes I to disagree. Pound Town on that. Pound Town? Oh yeah, Pound Town will hit. I, I don't hey, know. Yo. No pun intended. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the record. I know the. I know the line. Mm. I don't know the record. Though. Say the line. Which I, which line is that? I don't, I don't know. No, what song? <laughs> hey, hey. I'll just say it real quick. I don't know. What I just want to make sure you. It, know, uh, I believe it involves the color wheel. Yeah, it's. <laughs> The color wheel is nasty. The color sick. wheel is sick. Uh, yes, it does involve the color wheel. Absolutely. Mm. But um, yeah, th- those, th- listen, have fun. Primary colors? Right. Have fun. You know, and anatomy. These songs are not going to, they're not going to last though. A lot of these songs are not going to last. Mm. How long do you, last how? Well, um, most songs don't last. Like yeah, that's not, what I, that, not, that's not what I. Not most, not most, a lot, but not most. 
Like these songs are not meant to last though. They're, they're moments. Well, that's that's the difference. I'm gonna sound like the old man. Even the great records that have been songs of the summer out of the last 10 years are great for the summer and they don't continue on the way. I think when we were growing up, you could still play the songs of the summer in 03 and it rings off in 2023. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas like, I love ooh, why, why by Young and May, but does that ever get played anymore? But why do you think that is though? Oh, because I just think the music we grew up on is better than this. Yeah, not, <laughs> not, 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 yeah. No, not only that, it's just, again, it goes to just the fact that anyone can upload a record now. Anyone? But I'm saying even the, the better ones, like, Ooh, to me, is a really good record. Bodak Yellow is a good record. Bodak Yellow still goes off. Um, Fire. Yeah, Bodak Yellow still can do its thing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You think people throw on Bodak Yellow? Yes. And you're a DJ. Yes. Uh, just, uh, I'm asking. I'm not. Yes. Yeah, no, that's a record. That's for yeah, sure. That, that gets thrown on a party still? Okay. For sure. Sean, does that get played? Yeah. Hot nigga still gets played. Two totally different parties. That's a different era, though. That's, still, that's older still. No, I'm still. I'm talking about like the last ten years of. of oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. See? And even computers gets played all the time still. Oh, yeah. But that's New York. I don't know if it gets played elsewhere. I think Hot Nigga gets played at other places. I don't think computer does. Computers is very New York. Yeah. I don't um, know. I've, I've never, never been at Bootsy Villas and they threw on Bobby Shmurda. Really? <laughs> Why don't you invite me on those nights? Sean saying every night. I've definitely fucking been listening to 10 Sean. million Migos songs in one night. I'm like, could someone switch the song? No, I've definitely been in Boots with Sean and, 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 and Bobby Schmerder's record came on. What was the song of the summer last year? And Chief Keith and Migos. Oh, that better play. That's, yeah. That's, that better, um, Roy said, that better that play. What, uh, yeah, what was the song of the summer last year? La was it last, last? Yeah. yeah. Like it was an Afrobeat summer. Was, it was last, last. Definitely. Last summer? Yeah. It was not last. It was not last. last. I promise you. It Ugh, I know it's a Bad right. Bunny song not, to you, Ed. It's up. Yeah. We're being objective here. It was a Bad Bunny track for sure. Bad, yeah, but listen, extra told, Spanish. Not that shit. No, listen. I told Ed and I told Ed and Ed made in America though, and Ed can vouch for this. I said, Ed, I've I've never seen nothing like this, bro. I have never seen nothing like that Bad Bunny crowd that was in front of that stage. Never in my life. You wouldn't say wait for you, future Drake times. Oh yeah, maybe not last. I think that was two summers ago. Not last. It was twenty twenty two. That was last summer. Yeah, apparently, last apparently, summer. song of the summer of 2022 was as it was by Harry Styles, which I'm not. Oh, well, of course. Oh, oh, how can we forget like, that? On the Hamptons, <laughs> y'all might hate me, but Jack Harlow might have had song of the summer last year. What was the song? What, what song? what? Nail Tech. Nail Tech. No, no nah, not even no close. Not way. Even close. Not even close. I oh no, know what no Nail Tech was a better song. I liked, but it was or whatever the other one. Is. The first class. What was it? First, first class. class also, not it. Not a song of the summer. Nail Tech to me, I still don't know how that song wasn't a better, a bigger record. That record is way better than first class to me. Tyler Hero had a moment too. He had a, those were a good run of records. I actually felt like "Staying Alive" by DJ Khaled was probably the song of the summer. Oh, oh for sure, if not the song yeah. of the year. That eight, yeah. "Staying Alive," yeah, eight down. Remember when remember he put that? the dance, the dance video, and he really one of them. Was that with Drake? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hated that record. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Little Baby on that? He is. I think so. I hated that record. Uh, didn't we talk about it? Of course. When it, I hated that record. I don't care what this he tried to show Mark Wahlberg. I hated that. Yeah, record. little baby Drake. I fucking That's hated it. that record. Drake that record. Was I baby's hated on that fucking record, man. But to, he to Rory's, <laughs> he told he told Elliot Wilson. That's the greatest song that's ever been made. That's sick. No, we know what Khaled is great at. He's great at marketing. He's trolling. great at trolling. He's great <laughs> at, you know, he he just knows how to like stay in your face. But like, what? But when knows. do we close the farmers market? At like what hour? We have to stop some of it by saying this is the greatest song that's ever been made. <laughs> I mean, because then it takes away from all the fun marketing that I like from Khaled. Yeah. When you say. But we know that even that is him trolling. We know that that's Khaled trolling. Khaled doesn't think that that's the greatest song that's ever. It's made. not the greatest song he's ever made. That's what exactly. <laughs> which is why he can't think that that. It might be the worst song, song he's ever made. Exactly. Which is why that's trolling. But that's what it's Khaled does. Khaled is. He's going to troll. He's going to say things because he's going to say that. People are like, really? Hold on. Let me go listen to this. That's all it's about. But he knows that was not the greatest song. No. God, I hope Cut it out. Song of the summer? Uh, <laughs> song, song of the decade. My favorite part of the show, which, well, this is becoming my favorite part of the show. Um, we, have, um, we have males waiting. 
We we got a lot of calls. Uh, we have calls. Mail waiting is disgusting. Mail. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, yo, oh yeah, you know what? That You're right. Nah, she got that. She got that. She got that. She got that. Another black mail. thought. The voicemail. Hey. Not, not like men waiting. The voicemails for you. And I got news for you. The voicemails, man. We have the voicemails waiting. I can Whoa. tell you, sir, yeah. that he's gay. <laughs> While we were gone, we got so many calls. I spent uh, all day afternoon just listening to calls. That's uh, fine. How many people do you think that Julian responds to? How many voices? Not that many. I don't. I can't respond. You that. find a way. Yeah, <laughs> you find a you way. Can. You find their it's IG. A one way. No, <laughs> it's a one way. It's a one way process. It's a one way service. I tried. No. <laughs> uh, we we won't start relationship. We'll do a fun one to start. Okay. okay. Yo. This is Jay from Vancouver, BC. Uh, shout out to the entire pod. Uh, Great weed in, I respect in Vancouver. respect everyone on here. I've been following Rory Moss since the old pod. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Um, this question is actually for Eden. Oh, and actually fuck. anyone can else can answer, but specifically Eden, I really want to know. It's for you, Eden. You got to rank these top three. French toast, pancakes, and waffles. <laughs> Where do you put them? Where do you rank them? Eden, I'm waiting for an answer. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Eden, I want that fat boy opinion. Listen, if anybody, if anybody's gonna rate breakfast, it would have to be you, Eden. That's hilarious. It would have to be you. It's only First right. Well, go fuck yourself because that's hilarious. I think that, that I think that that's it's, it's fitting. It's only fitting that you answer this. And there's only one acceptable answer. So what is? Wow. That? Um. Holy French shit. toast, pancakes, or <laughs> um, rank them. I guess uh, from first to third. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm doing waffles, pancakes, French toast. Hmm. What he did that shit backwards as fuck. Waffles, pancakes, French toast. Yeah, French toast, waffles, pancakes. You tripping, bro? Yo, I'm going waffles, mm-hmm. French toast, pancakes. Okay. Waffles hold pockets of syrup. I'm talking as a true That's fat boy. That shit, Edit. Do you just rap genius waffles? You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but they hold Edith, pockets. what was your order? Was it waffles, uh, pa- uh, French toast, and pancakes? No, you had, you had French waffles. toast waffles. Oh, yeah. So pancakes, French toast. Yeah. Pancakes are very hit or miss. It's Those rare that toast. you just have like really good pancakes. French toast is definitely hit or miss. Pancakes is basically somebody just spilled some shit in the pan one day yeah. and just decided to keep going with it. Mm. Just flip it over and just now we have something. Yeah. Now we have something. Okay. Uh, if you yeah. don't add <laughs> chocolate chips, if you don't add blueberries, yeah, like, like you just a add regular banana, ass. Like you gotta add banana yeah. to the batter. You gotta, you gotta French toast. French toast is the greatest it. shit ever. But that, but that's it. very hit or miss because some people fuck up the egg batter and everything. Well, like you talking about somebody that not don't know how to cook? You need to use yeah. that. Then you need the the, the, the Texas you need the toast. Thick bread. Yeah, you need that. The thick Texas shit. toast. You need the hollow like bread. The, the ho- yeah, the hollow bread. Oh yeah, have the hollow. Yeah, for sure. Feel that. But why had at a spot in L. A. Right by the uh, by the Grove, it's a nice little spot. I had first time I've ever had this was French toast croissants. That's interesting. Mm. interesting. Okay, that okay. was really good. Doubling up on the French. you know that spot, Sean, by the Grove. It's an oh my oh my god, the French toast croissant is next level. I just feel like waffles you can't fuck up. Just opened up in Brooklyn here. Oh, they Ooh. opened up in Brooklyn too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. If they cut a check, we'll. Yeah. Then we'll go get some pancakes. Roy, what's your order? Yeah. I said mine. Uh, waffles, French toast, pancakes. Yeah. Oh, I already have it up here. Yeah. Mine's just French toast, waffle, pancake. Yeah. Pancake, pancakes. Same. Sounds oh. last, Julian. Well, this is this pre-vegan or post-vegan? <laughs> this is no, because right that now. could change. Right? Oh, that's true. Today. Because I, I feel like a vegan waffle may be better than when vegan we was in toast. Mexico and we had those vegan pancakes. That shit was lit. Yeah. Vegan like food it? is really good, man. Oh, like people go. just, you know. <laughs> Next voicemail. <laughs> Come on, let's move on. Vegan food yeah, is great. Good list, man. Man. You gotta have the right vegan food. Yeah, no, okay. Not, uh, the, not the bullshit vegan food. Let's get to the relationship. Because I've had yeah. some regular food that Dumper. was terrible. Right? Dumper. Yo, Roy. Well, uh, when I was a kid, yeah, I, yeah. I was a big pancake guy, but I think I've matured into French toast and oh, okay. then uh, waffle pancake. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think I, I share the same order as Damaris. How you feel like you matured into that? Yeah. You know when you're uh, is there something about uh <laughs> I had a great palate. ritual. Yeah. What changed your palate? Yeah, well, I, when I was what's her younger, name? My dad what's her and I, name? Yeah. My dad and I had a ritual where he Your would, palate only changes from the type of female you deal yeah. with. I don't All know right. if men know that. It was a wholesome yeah. story. He like backpats around Italy or yeah. something. Like everything changed. Yeah, everything. No, <laughs> you didn't go to Positano. It was like, oh, you know, I'm now like French stuff. No, you was fucking what girl? What's her name? No, it's just the, <laughs> you, the pancakes, like you said, they're just kind of bland and like yeah. filling and they just don't sit as well. French toast, you can, it's just a better flavor palate, yeah. I think. 
It's a better palate. Give me a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. Better palate. Better especially palate. with the hollow bread or the, or the croissant. But we can bread. all agree, though, if we're ranking dinner, lunch, and breakfast, breakfast is number three, right? Ooh. Is it brunch? Whoa. Is wow. it brunch? No way. Brunch still Rory, counts. what? You don't like breakfast food? I just think it ranks last. Rory, of course he doesn't like. Rory hates when he wakes up. <laughs> he hates oh, like, another fuck, day. I'm, I'm like, still alive. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Must not be one of God's favorites. <laughs> he didn't call me home yet. Yeah. <laughs> of course he doesn't I like guess breakfast. The, I guess it is true. The good die young. <laughs> <laughs> God. I guess it is true. Yeah. I guess I'm not one of the soldiers God needed back. Yeah. Man, oh, God didn't call me home yet. Yeah, he doesn't need me. God, God I want to be needed. Uh, yeah. Y'all don't, out of, I'm not saying breakfast is bad, but out of dinner, lunch, I and breakfast, lunch the is, amount of options lunch are. Lunch is the most skippable meal. Same, yeah. Yeah, because for lunch, I could just, I could do a smoothie and be cool. Yeah. But now, dinner, dinner, dinner now you're talking home? about your schedule. You're not going, <laughs> through, not going through the lunch just food. availability. Ah, like type lunch of is just sandwich and salads, right? Yeah, like soups. a fucking salad and a soup. I will take the different sandwich combinations I could have over the four breakfast foods that are available. Four types of eggs you could have? <laughs> See, that's, you, gotta, you gotta expand your palate because there's plenty there's of mad breakfast There's awesome and, breakfast. And breakfast can't even steal steak because dinner steak is better than steak and eggs. Sure, I agree. No way. Dinner no steak way. is nah. not better than steak and eggs. Steak and eggs is top five. You're vegan. No. Steak you and eggs doesn't steak. beat steak and <laughs> I've had Four I've, eggs. I've had steak and eggs. They just hand you a plate. Plenty of mornings, bro. Steak, steak and is eggs. It's an empty plate. It's, it's better. Dope, than, but like, it's better than steak and potato. All right, then let me hear. Uh, you let me hear I everyone's like order. Of what? Of dinner, lunch, breakfast. Top three. Well, Ma, I'll go first. Uh, dinner, lunch, breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dinner yeah. first. No, I'm saying, what's your three? What's your favorite meal? Breakfast, dinner, lunch. Wow, that order. It's a toss up for number one. Y'all love eggs that much? Dinner and breakfast. Eggs are pretty dope. Because if I do, because if I do grits. Okay. Love grits. Eggs. True. Maybe throw some shrimp or something in the grits. Mm. Now you're stealing from dinner again. Yeah. You're trying to cherry pick off dinner. Shrimp and grits is not dinner food. It's brunch. Shrimp grits. But if shrimp were to pick, shrimp would choose dinner over breakfast. Shrimp no, it wouldn't. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp doesn't get a How many dinner meals have shrimp and how many breakfast meals have shrimp? Depends yeah, how many if you're a p- pescatarian or not. Depends, yeah. Fair. Okay. Good point. There's fish shrimp and grits. grits. Shrimp and grits. Fish and grits. Oh, fry fish and grits. Okay. Now, now let's explain the 10,000 shrimp dishes that are with dinner. Okay. They're great. All right. What the <laughs> fuck do you have against breakfast? <laughs> Yo. He doesn't want to wake up. Like, yeah, he, he don't want to. Y'all, y'all not understanding that. He doesn't want to be here. Breakfast dated a surfer and I just can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. I, just, <laughs> I, I love breakfast, man. Breakfast and dinner tip for me. Okay. Lunch, lunch cool. dinner, breakfast. Lunch. Why you went to brunch? Because brunch, brunch is eight. No, brunch counts. Fuck out of here. Brunch is breakfast. You don't do that every... Brunch is not breakfast, bro. No alcohol. You don't yeah. eat chicken and <laughs> waffles you, for yeah. breakfast. You brunch eat that for brunch. Brunch is breakfast with alcohol. alcohol. That's it. That's what and nope. and the Migos and shrimp, twer- <laughs> shrimp and yeah. grits and uh, fucking uh, hookah. Wha- yeah, you know what? Fuck y'all. I'm done. <laughs> That's brunch is a meal. No, it's a meal, but it's like eh. Just do the three. It's a liquid meal. Do the three. Brunch don't is like really the cousin the that you kind of cool with, but if you don't see him, you're not mad. You don't yeah. eat the brunch. You're like, oh, what's up? I ain't see you in a minute, but if you don't see him, you're not like, yo, where he been? Mm. You know, no, I'm yeah. asking about brunch at all times. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, because you like the fucking. Eat and twerk and fucking drink. I do not. That sounds like marriage, where you doesn't twerk. It? You're not twerking that's, that's over the my French toast. That's yeah. not. That is the holy eat, trinity. Drink and twerk. Yeah. EDT. Absolutely. And, and who is the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Blow the spirits away. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, look at that. I like that. Yeah. All right. Next voicemail. Uh, here's a. Here we go. More relationshipy. Hey, Rory and Ma. What hey. up, Demaris, Julian, and Eden? I know you're tired of relationship questions and Ma's go-to advice, but I got to ask, as a man, would y'all let your girl get a massage from a dude masseuse or is that not hip hop? Let me know. Love this segment and keep doing your thing. Thanks. You read that off a of script or something? Uh, I have... He read that off his Blackbird, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a beat out list? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was definitely... He definitely did it. that like three times. One hundred. Yeah. Three. He's like, let me, Seven. He's like, let me punch it again. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, punching in on a 10 second voice note is... No, I don't like it. Do it over. <laughs> oh, you have to wait for the mix and master. Yeah. Right. Um, I've, I've already been in that situation. I didn't really care. Male masseuse? Yeah. Is that a big deal? But no. are you together or is she going I've, I've done both. 
I've Adam 22 it and I've yeah, also so fucking crazy. My thing is like if you walk into a room as a couple massage and there's a masseuse that's a man and a masseuse that's a woman and they're like, okay, you're a couple. Which one do you want to go? I would say I'll go with the guy. Really? You go with the girl. I'm good. That's a little gay. Yeah. Wait, say that again. A little bit. Like if you're with your girl and you're going to get a couple's massage and there's a male masseuse and a female masseuse, are you going to give your girl, let your girl, girl go with the guy? It's a massage. Yeah. Happy ending. I've had, for you. I've had a couple. It, I, I've yo, had a your couple's. girl getting a happy ending from a dude when you're at the couples. That's Adam Twain. I've had a couple's massage, but the male masseuse that was massaging her was he was hit it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? wait, what? Sorry, what? Wait, what? Hit it. Okay, oh, but boy. say he's not that. Say he's Try not to mix it up. That say he's the like the guy from uh, Adam's situation. No, then she can wait for hit it. <laughs> Wait, wait, yeah. what? <laughs> wait for the female, and then I'll go. We there's to nothing. Go there is sexuality in massages, but then there's also a world where a massage is not sexual at all. That's true. Yeah. Oh, more, more times than not, a massage is not. So it matters of how the male looks like. I mean, if he's a, if he looked like he just got that, like this gentleman. No, we're not doing that. Well, this is not a massage. This is, oh, <laughs> this is, this, oh no, this That's is foreplay. No, but August bookings are open, Maul. That's you wouldn't let your girl August book this. August bookings are open. <laughs> That's no. a massage. Hell no. That would never. Y'all wouldn't let y'all girl get that massage? Hell no. no. Is that in an apartment? <laughs> That's it. Her apartment. Yeah. Yeah. He come. He comes to the house. Yeah. He, he comes to the house too. Yeah. No, nah, we're not doing that. And no, but I, I, don't, and I, don't I know care. this gentleman gets that bullshit off of like, it's just a massage. It's not like that. All right. What happens when a dude books you? Yeah. Post that you, video. You giving the same, <laughs> same treatment? Duke? Duke. Duke. <laughs> That's Look why I know he's full of shit too. Oh, he's definitely full of shit. <laughs> nah, I mean, but yeah, no, I, I'm not. I wouldn't mind. I don't. I don't care about a massage as long as it's not this type. Yeah, of as long as she's not modeling with male surfers, like right. I'm, I'm cool. Are I'm you gonna give everything. her this kind of massage? Because see, this is yeah. the thing. Men start giving this massage, and the moment they get five seconds in, next thing you know, a hand is in your coochie. Like, that's part so, of the massage. That's yeah. part of the no, massage. That's not yeah, if you're part my of the girl, fucking massage. Yeah, yeah maybe dude. you want the whole thing without having to be. Okay, what about seven minutes? Yeah, I can massage. He, did, he did that for 30 minutes. Excuse me? He did that for 30 right, minutes we'll and did we'll not compromise. insert himself 12 in her. Okay. 12 minutes. 12 compromise. minutes is cool, right? 12 minutes is... I'll finger you 12 minutes in. What? No, and that's <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, that's a massage. It is a massage. Technically, that's a massage. A massage I don't want my walls massaged. And first of all, don't, my ass massage. Don't do you that. Don't, right? don't try don't to make All right, fine. Don't put Pick us in that group that all men within five minutes of the massage put their finger in a girl's Yeah, it could be the tongue. <laughs> it could be your butt. My thing, my thing is, what if you massage in a woman like that and her butt stink? Oh, dude. Well, he's a professional. <laughs> yeah, no, what that mean about her butt? Nose. <laughs> okay, he's a professional. He's so always so in there. Yo. If he go get the pandemic mask and you put it not, on, then what? You, you think that regular? You it. think that regular masseuses don't massage people who might have a smell yes, or some type of body odor? It happens, but they're not the massaging time. women like this. I feel like if you're going to a massage, that's this type of massage. You probably are yeah, washing you beforehand. You're not showing up there after a workout. No, yeah, that doesn't mean. I've seen women get in the shower and get out. It's still stinking. That sucks. Summer's Eve. Even a I just couldn't get that off. Yeah, it's like, yo, what is like your shit still don't smell right? Like that doesn't mean nothing. But this is not a massage. This is some erotic shit. This is it's, he's a masseuse. All right, every everybody's <laughs> that a masseuse. Is a blood. <laughs> I got, yeah, oh, he's a masseuse. He's a blood. <laughs> that ain't no he's trying to change his life. Yeah, that, that, this is honest work now. Out of here, man. Honest work. He's, he's honest denouncing work. the set. He got a black wife beat on. That tells you all you need to know. He got a black tank top. <laughs> yeah, sick. why is he not wearing clothes? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he don't have a masseuse. He don't want the oil shirt. to get his good thread. Yeah, but he don't got a masseuse shirt. Like you know the shit that masseuses wear. Like they got yeah. a nice little shirt. He got on a black tank top and basketball shorts. Look at that Nike logo right there. Oh, <laughs> there ain't no masseuse. Make it out of here. That's hilarious. Um, do we have time for one more? Should we, should we save it uh, for Patreon? Yeah. Let's, Let's save another one. We have so many. <laughs> All right. We, we can get one more. All right. What's going on, Rory, Maul, Julian, Evan, Baby D? This is Jared from Kalamazoo, Michigan. I uh, hope y'all doing good. I'm just checking in on a simple question if this is hip hop or not. So. Me and my boy got a, uh, and a couple of us got a trip planned out to Detroit for the weekend, you know, a little Friday <laughs> to Sunday. We got tickets for the Drake concert. We were planning oh, okay. going out in the club, doing our thing. We're all single. But I got one friend in my group named Vic. 
Damn. He just can't seem to let go of his ex-girlfriend. Like, she moved down to Miami, Florida. She started bartending. They're broken up. But Yikes. He can't let her go. So she blew it out. Pretty much, we got this weekend coming up, and then he's going to text us last week. Hey, y'all, can't really come up to for the weekend. I got a fucking tequila and taco event with my ex-girlfriend and mom when she comes into town. Now, me, I'm the planner of the group, so I already planned out the hotel, planned out everything that we're doing. And then this man's just going to drop, hey, yeah, I can't make it because I'm hanging out with my ex-girl. Like, So we all just need an opinion on how to tell this man to let her go. Like, she's out here living life in Miami, going crazy, bartending, and he's up in Kalamazoo just sad waiting for her to come back. So really advice on how to tell him to let her go. And second, is it hip hop to fucking skip a Detroit weekend with your boys for the Drake concert? Detroit. For pussy? So yes. Taco to kill yeah, uh, with the moms. Of the yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah. 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 Yes. That, that second yes. part. Yes. It I don't know why you make a weekend out of going to Detroit. That's a, <laughs> well, it's a Drake concert. Cause yeah. I, I laughed at first, like a weekend in Detroit. Who has ever? Well, no, nah, they're in Michigan already. I can see that being the major city oh, to go to but the attraction is the drake concert yeah it wasn't like they were like yo we're just going to detroit just to go to detroit ah, shit, they should go hey, to it's Miami. not like they're going to flint just yeah, to like, chill yeah they're going to yeah. okay so yeah, the drake yeah, concert just, bring some water um that's not hip-hop you can't you can't you can't curve your homeboys for your ex and her mom no but it's miami i don't know man they know they're not in my they're going to they're going to michigan the mom and the ex are coming to michigan adding in the sulking oh. about your ex thing changes it a bit but I don't think there's anything wrong with skipping out on the fellas going to the Drake show to, nah. to go we'll to tacos shorty. and tequila nah, with a chick I want to fuck. Nah, it's going to be a lot of ass in that That, that Drake is true. Concert. Detroit has but some of the greatest women of all time. love with somebody else. That's why I said that's not hip hop. You don't want to see the boy? There's no love in hip hop. You know that. Huh? Mm. Mm. It's mad love in hip hop. No, it ain't. Mm. Yes, it is. Niggas is getting smoked every night. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Rhyming right on the corner. 16s. <laughs> and you know Spitting what they get getting smoked over? Bitches. Who? Because <laughs> they get killing each other over no women. Uh, they are killing uh, each other over tweets. Definitely <laughs> not white women. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, but it's, you're right. But the girl they want to fuck saw the tweet though. <laughs> they just killing each other over <laughs> tweets. <laughs> Imagine getting killed over a tweet. But it's the, but it's the principal over 140 characters. <laughs> Yo, and these bullets. little niggas is crazy, man. That's Yo, why killing a nigga over a tweet bro. is wild, bro. <laughs> That is kind of... That's not hip-hop, man. I don't care. Go to the Drake concert. You know it's kind of gay when you think about it. What? Killing a man because he t- tweeted you the wrong thing. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's crazy out here. So, no, that's not hip-hop. You got to go to the Drake concert, especially in Detroit. It's going to be a bunch of women there. For sure. Now, um, how does he tell... Uh, how do they tell him to let her go? Drake's in town. Like, hey, yo, like bro, say. It's a bunch of women in here. <laughs> like, what are you? Why are you focused on your ex? Like, she's not. She doesn't care about you. And quiet is kept. Detroit is like the number one sleeper city for the best women in America. And oh, I just hope, like, true. let's but keep what that if, on the low, though, because uh, you know, yeah, that's not like that. What, what if he's not the? Yo, keep, keep going to Dallas. Keep going to yeah. Dallas. What we'll if, go to Detroit. What if he's not the friend that like get bitches? Like, what if he that ain't shit ain't secure? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean he he tagged, he tagged the friend. bartender from Miami. He that should kind of have friend. something. No, she's Cut from Michigan circle. and moved to Miami. Nah, she she yeah she fled from him. Cut okay, him. she didn't know she was popping, so she got to Miami. She yeah. was just like she was Detroit. the girl that was too big for her town. Gosh, Listen, I don't know if this is a pause or not, but she need, she outgrew the miles. Y'all need to dump him. He can't be a oh, friend. That's not a point. That's you, whack. Wow, you're that's telling the guys to yeah cut him off and let him go chase that ex. Wait, but your my friendship with someone isn't based off the love for their ex girlfriend. No, but this is clearly something that's like they're telling him to like you have to let this girl go. How are you gonna tell me I gotta let my bitch go? Because she's not. Um, well, she's, she's not, no longer your. She bitch. doesn't care about you. She's no longer your girl. She's in Miami bartending, probably fucking with a bunch of dudes down in Miami. You don't but, know that. Like, and now she's coming back for a taco and tequila event, and here, here you go running with her mom. goofy ass right behind her. Yeah, mm-hmm. with her mom though. That's low key wholesome. It's not wholesome. It is. Mom's it, in town. Oh, which one is he going to? I got news for you. Okay. Yeah. How? I can tell you, sir, is that he's gay. I think. <laughs> it's, with his, it's with her mom. I think going to the Detroit concert, the Detroit Drake concert with all your fellas is gayer than. No, it's, no, it's not. Hanging it's with you. It's a bunch of girls in there. They it's not looking a, for the girls. Them niggas is going to be up there pointing at Drake and his hologram no, twin. No, they're not, man. They going to look at girls. They no, they're not. Girls, you man. will go to look at girls. They, Them niggas are going to look at Drake. They're going to go in, sing in Drake theory, words, word for in word. In theory, you're right. But I'm kind of with Damaris. I think the three of them will probably be in a huddle rapping to each other. 
That's kind of sick. Well, yeah, do that's your the thing. thing. They're gonna be doing all that together. <laughs> do your thing. Like, like, yeah. like yeah. you know, in unison, they're all gonna say, "Oh, I, I fell off. Ooh, I needed that." You know, they're all gonna say that. To <laughs> uh, me. Well, yeah, if y'all plan on doing that, that's I might nasty. be. <laughs> yeah, they're doing that. <laughs> if they doing that, that's nasty. It's gonna be a lot of. Well, it, the show was last night. First of so all, girls don't want to go there to get hit on. Like they want to enjoy the show. Yeah, that's I mean, that's it awesome. depends. It's a Drake show. The girls don't mind getting hit on if they're attracted to the guy. Well, yeah. Get the fuck most out of my these, ear while Drake's singing to me. Most exactly. And also, most of these niggas don't be attractive. Just heads up. Damn. Sorry. Oh, what's Jesus his name? Christ. Just tell me his name. There, I'll go, I'll go fight you, him for you. Do you know how many seats Little Caesars Palace <laughs> holds? <laughs> I'll I'll like, Caesar's there's there's got to be one good looking <laughs> guy in there. Yo, just give me his name, Damaris. <laughs> I'll talk to him for you. No, I'll, I'm just saying. You can't, <laughs> most niggas don't be attractive. <laughs> In arena, that arena holds in 40, arena, forty three thousand people. <laughs> there's gonna be no attractive men in there. I didn't say no, and it's not like they're going to the Kid Rock show. Yeah, like, <laughs> like there's not gonna be one attractive guy. You think in that in that show? I didn't say not one. So yeah, what if these gentlemen are attractive? Yeah, you don't come think on. that girls wouldn't like? Oh, side. that's a nice looking group of men. Like, and they come over there and they start talking to the girls. Y'all would entertain them, right? Mm. After this, what y'all doing? Let's go get some dinner. I mean, <laughs> I think he. Dinner. They also yeah. uh, need to let their friend go to this tacos and tequila thing just so he can see firsthand what is about to happen. Mm. What if it goes Because that girl is not going to like him anymore. She's going to go back to Miami. Nothing's going to change. And then his friends can say, hey, look, instead of coming with us to have fun and potentially meet another person or move away from this shit, you went and you saw exactly what it is. This bitch thinks you're a friend from back home. Yeah. She's going to go right back to Miami. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's gonna happen wherever they at. She's gonna fuck him though, and he gonna be madly no, in love not, with her. No. Yes, yes, she is. No, she's not. She's gonna fuck that boy. She's not gonna get that nigga nothing. She gonna fuck she gonna him. She's gonna be on she, the phone with her new nigga in Miami the whole time she did. Nah, she nah, gonna she, fuck him. She might ditch him and go to the Drake show. That'd be <laughs> now that there's a ticket available. Yeah, that's my question for uh for Jared here is if this guy's gonna back out this last minute, did he at least like well, the concert it happened. The, the show was the other day. Well, all right. Call back. Let us know if your guy, if he ended up did going to the show or not, or if covered his part of the hotel. But did he cover it? Yeah. Did he did he put money down for the hotel? Did he still pay for the ticket? Or like, did he just leave you guys like fucked in that regard? Because money down shitty. for the hotel, just cancel the room. But like, They're probably share Jared's room. the Jared's oh. the coordinator. Mall, no, Mall, yeah, can't share. Mall, rooms. stop. Don't share rooms. Don't do it. Mall. In Detroit, at a Drake concert. <laughs> well, shit in Detroit, it might be safer. Yo, nah, man. You but I, I hope he's the buddy gave system. money Dangerous back. Dangerous city. The buddy system. You can't <laughs> share rooms. At the, you shared a room with Eden. That was but that was different. Though. They were in Mexico. Who's at a house? Well, that's like, not why. Exactly. That's different. <laughs> but not like incident. Tulum. Like there's there was no women around. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Like there wasn't no women. If there were women around, Eden would have been sleeping by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sleep with, not like, sleeping with yeah. the would have been a nice setup too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go Just sleep by the pool. Slept in bed with the Great Danes. Bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those big ass dogs. You, imagine no. Eden under three Great Danes. Like, yo, where, where'd oh Eden sleep? Where's Eden? <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> not a mouthful of fur. Oh, well, this was fun. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be back this week. Subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, there's some merch left. Um, actually, quickly, we can talk about Big Vic, Victor Sweet, two Victor NBA Sweet. summer league summer league games, twenty seven points two nights ago, and then we can get out of here. Uh, Victor Wimbanyama. Yes. Um, listen, man, <laughs> KD, all y'all niggas better be scared, man. This kid might win the next eight. <laughs> yeah, the next eight. He might win the next eight. The way Popovich is smiling, <laughs> he done designed a whole new offense. Um. Yeah, this this kid is the real deal. He's the goods. Uh, he's, he's everything the goods. that he's the goods. Everything. He might kill the AAU team shit that's been happening for so long. All he needs is a point guard, and you're good to go. He's 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 absolutely just. I, I've never seen nothing like this kid. Like to be that tall, that athletic, uh, that skilled. You know, usually you see kids this tall. They're they're unorthodox. They're goofy. They can't run and chew gum. He's absolutely total opposite. Everything that has been advertised about this kid is absolutely true. Um, you know, just the little things that Greg Popovich can give him and teach him. And then obviously with him just maturing as he gets older into a man and getting stronger physically, uh, the, I don't see what this kid's weakness is. It could be hosed. We don't know. <clears throat> I was going to say, it might be hosed. The only be. thing I, I can I see taking him down very, is very, His women. family is very present. His, his, his sisters and... Brother and everybody's like I mean, so are very Jaws. present. Huh? So are Jaws. Yeah, but I think this kid is different though. Yeah. Everything I'm seeing about this there's kid, he's, like he's, he's just different, bro. Yeah, there's no guns in France. 
he's, he's, well, he's very different. Nice. But it, it, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Right yeah, they're going nuts. <laughs> it's it's going to be fun to watch him, though. Uh, the Spurs, uh, again, I, they may be one play away from winning the next three championships easily. I mean, I think it's perfect that he's in San Antonio. Not to say that there's not horrors and nightlife in San Antonio, but I was watching his like regiment shit that he goes through every day. He gets 10 to 11 hours of sleep every day. Yeah. He does. He won't even have time. Yeah, those. no. No, he, this kid is, um, he, I think that he's going to be one of the special ones. I, th- I thought it was hype at first, but I think that he'll get to the NBA and just like Luka Doncic realized, <laughs> Luka realized the NBA was very easy mm. um, to adjust to. And I think it'll be the same thing for Victor. I have, a, I have a prediction outside of his actual stats. I think by November, there'll be rumors of Victor and Kiki Palmer. <laughs> mm. I think that's how they're going to come back. I think that's how the PR team's going to come like back that. strong. Now, the whole Britney Spears thing, there was a thing that happened in Vegas where uh, Britney Spears said that the security guard for Victor uh, hit her in the face. And um, she was running up to him and trying to tap him on the shoulder. They looked at other angles of the tape and... They uh the case has been the 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 thing has been thrown out. The security guard pushed Britney Spears' hand, and her own hand hit her in her face. So there will be no charges. The uh, security guard secured. <laughs> yeah, I should have said an one. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't hit. He just saw a hand coming up on Victor's shoulder. He didn't know it was Britney Spears, and he just pushed the hand back, and Britney's own hand hit her face. So the uh, the security guard didn't hit Britney in the face. It what was an interesting approach, hand. though. What I mean, this is just part of the simulation to me. Yeah. Like, Why is Britney Spears running? <laughs> Why does she just run to him? I think like she that? just saw a really tall guy and was like, she oh my God. She said she saw him earlier. Uh, she saw him earlier and I think a guy that she was with is a fan of his. So she, obviously she feels like she's Britney Spears. She's obviously a star as well. She thought that she, if she ran up and everybody saw it was her, that the guy would take a picture with her friend that was a big fan of Victor's or whatever, or was a fan of his. Because she had seen him earlier and then seen him when they were all leaving the same place. It's hard to miss. Yeah, but security didn't even look back and notice that that was Britney Spears. Yeah, no, he just saw a hand on yeah. Victor's back and he pushed the hand. Um, but yeah, no charges will be filed. They looked at all the tapes. He didn't strike her in the face. Her own hand hit her in the face. So, yeah, Oops. it is what it is. Oops, Life goes on. Again. Life goes on. Another day in the simulation. Uh, we'll be back. Talk to y'all again the rest uh the end of the week. Enjoy your week. It's uh summer officially is here. Yes, it's humid as fuck. It's hot as fuck. Um, wash your ass true and your mouth true Uh, we'll talk to y'all soon be safe I'm that nigga he's just ginger peace no worry I'm